please excuse the mess. The sonar feed appears to be having a few difficulties. And hello, welcome back. We are here live from the Berliner Pub for episode number 125 of the Sonar Feed Show. The Sonar Feed Show. The Sonar Feed Show. The Sonar Feed Show. Welcome in. We are uh, joined tonight by the one, the only, Ezra Hendrickson. Yeah! The, uh, the awesome coach of S2, the former assistant coach for S1, as we're calling it, the Sounders. And of course, a longtime player for both your national team and all for St. Vincent, and also uh, many teams inside of the MLS. Yep. So welcome in tonight, Coach. And national team too. Yes. yes. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm delighted on. to be here. Just kick me off. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's keep going. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. Well, okay. the show's recording, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. So my name is Aaron Riley, aka Sonar Riley. To my right, I'm Lee Rail at Lee Rail. Hugo Garcia at me be the Seattle on Twitter. Yeah. Ezra Hendrickson at Ezra Hendrickson, yeah, better known as Everybody Easy. knows you. Yeah. <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy. Yep, Easy. So welcome in Easy. So what we're going to do, no, normally we do a bunch of other like housekeeping, etc. All we want to do is we want to say that S1, that pass from Andy Rose to Oba, one of the best link ups I've seen in a long time. Absolutely phenomenal pass. Lamar Nagel, 253 with his two beautiful yes. goals. <laughs> yes, yes. We needed to get some goals there. We do a we do a a charity tournament here for his for his charity every year. Yeah. We do a FIFA yep. tournament, and so we love Lamar. We love yep. uh, 253. We do. We do. Um, we did the FC Tacoma match last night. They're an MPSL team. Yes. Who, if you guys or if they beat Kits out, Kits out. then yeah, you'll face them. them. Yeah. Open Starfire. Cup. It's the Open <laughs> Cup. Yep. So that'll be fun. Yes. I, I, yep, that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. fun. So we, 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 we've been calling their games uh, for them uh, at night, kind of as a, as a hobby for fun. A lot of, lot of fun yep, doing and that. And we stream it and uh, yep. do PA with them. So exactly. if, if they win, you guys going to be torn as far as... I will be wearing for, huh? two scarves. Okay. But uh, my heart, and I told them last night, actually. I told them last night, I'm like, my heart belongs to... Seattle, Sounders. Yeah, because yeah. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm an owner. I'm an owner. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's right. But it, it, it'll, you know what? It'll be awesome though because I love. We love the Open Cup. So the, this show started because of the Open Cup and the San Jose game down in uh, at the, at Kazar okay. is where we kind of started the show. Yeah. We love the Open Cup. We go to as many games as we can. I've only gone to one final, and I probably will never go to another final ever unless it's here. This guy has been to every. All five. Really? Yeah, every, all five every, finals. Every final. There's only how many people that have done that? Right now, 13. Oh, is that what it was? 13 people. 13 people left, yeah. Okay. So the the well, number gets smaller and smaller yeah. every year, every every final. But yep. So anyway, so I just wanted to do the housekeeping. That's all we're going to do. Now we're going to focus on you. All right. Yeah. So, and by, by you, he means him. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all the same, right? I'm going to turn your camera off shortly. We're going to focus on It's okay. Don't worry about it. No. But... I want to start out with one of my questions, kind of, you know, it's important to, to, to the show and what we do. And we have some questions in the audience and also online, too. But one of the things that we like doing on the show is we bring people on. We want to know about you. So we knew you grew, yeah, you grew up in St. Vincent, right? Yes. We know Wait, hang you on. came. Let's, let's talk. And where would that be, Coach, just in case some of our some viewers don't, don't know. know where St. Vincent <laughs> That's is. That's a beautiful island in the Eastern Caribbean. The Eastern Caribbean. Yes. So like Puerto Rico, Cuba, Puerto Rico, et cetera, down here. Way and then down, uh, Venezuela down. is down Close here. to Venezuela. Yeah, it's kind of like this. Yes. You're like right there. Yeah. Okay. Map. I looked it up today to make sure I knew where it was. Yeah. <laughs> A I lot of us. It, I knew the basic idea, but yeah. I to wanted be more, to know. To be more specific, it's, it's part of the Windward Islands. The Windward uh, Islands. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So. so and then you came over to the States. You were in Chicago, I think, et cetera. So Indiana. So Indiana. Indiana. I, Indiana. I came. I, I moved with my dad. Uh, moved in with my dad and uh my stepmom uh, at age 13 okay. in Kokomo, Indiana, a uh, no. really small town in yep. Indiana. Absolutely. And uh, did high school there and then went on to college okay. at Drake University in, in, in Iowa, Good Des Moines, nice. Iowa. Yeah. Nice. So I'm kind of a Midwest boy. Yep. You know, I, I spent, you know, 10 years okay. in the Midwest. And then I was down in New Orleans playing sem semi-pro for a couple of years and then came into the league in yeah. New York with the New York. It was the Metro Stars at the time. So yeah. oh, nice. that's right. I came in in 97. The league started in 96, oh, so and I came in in 97. So nice. Excellent. So, okay. That's yeah. great. There we so go. one of the things we notice is like in the off season, you talk about home a lot. Yes. Do you go back? Do you go back? I yes. Mean, or do you, do you, you, you consider that home, obviously? Yes, still, that's so. home. My biological mom still lives there. Okay. Oh, nice. And, you know, it's, uh, I, it's the only time I get to see her. You know, she, she comes up in the summer sometimes, but uh, 
I go back every Christmas because you know that's the only time I get to you know the only holiday uh, I get off season, off. right? So I, we go back and then it's fun. You know, it's I, I love being home. You know, it's. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's the Caribbean. I mean, how could you go wrong? With yeah. That? yeah. <laughs> we don't blame you. Don't want to spend your winters here in Seattle. To be there. <laughs> Trust me. That was an old message, by the way. So, um, okay, good. So, yeah. So, that was one of the things I think that people are curious about. Is like, you know, where, what, where your history comes from and what you do. Yeah. yeah. And so, I'm, I'm just a small island boy. Yeah. You know, and my country is very small. Uh, approximately 108, 109,000 people wow. in the entire Okay. Um, so it's a mainland, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, which is like a chain of 32 islands. Okay. Uh, okay. Some uninhabited, uh, but you know, it's, it's a beautiful place. If you ever get a chance to get down that way, <laughs> definitely check it out. Yeah, I was reading about it, man. It seems like it's gonna, it's it's really really like some a spot you definitely want to go check out, man. Yes. And if, uh, is, is soccer the number one sport down there? You would say? Yeah, soccer, yep. and you know we play cricket also because oh, okay. it used to be a British colony. Yep. Uh, but we had of independence since 1979, so but so we have some of the British sports like cricket and stuff like that. Nice. But soccer, you know, a lot of people play soccer, uh, you know, cricket. Also. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. When did you get start playing soccer as a kid? Man, like how old were you? Back. Uh, it's like 19. I would say probably uh, <laughs> three, four years old. I mean, back home when you're small, you just Boom. that's what you do. You yep. know, you, you and your friends get together and you just play and. So ever since I can remember, I've been playing soccer. I used to play cricket. Uh, I'm kind of tall, so uh, the bowlers, which is like a pitcher in baseball. Right, right. Yep. So I explain. Uh, yeah. We understand yeah. everything about cricket except for the scoring. It's very, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to get into that right now, but you know, it's. I used to play that also, but right. you know, soccer was my main love, and, and that's what I uh, ended up you know doing. You know, when I, once I came to the states, I started playing basketball. Okay. Picked up basketball. Oh, Being nice. in Indiana, you know, it's like the thing oh, to do. Yeah. You know? yeah, it is. Yeah. So I picked up basketball, but soccer was my love, and that's you know nice. that's why I went to college and I, I did that in college. So. Okay. Nice. That's okay. awesome, man. Yeah, I gr I, gr I grew up in Michigan, Illinois, and Iowa, and so. Oh, okay. So I spent. So you kind I spent. Of a I spent. Too. I am. I spent 16 years there. I moved here when I was 16, so okay. it's it's a great place to live. Yeah. Way better here. I like yeah. Seattle oh, 100 Seattle, times better. Seattle is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I love my country and all, but Seattle is very, very beautiful. Yes. When I was first coming to Seattle, everyone was, oh, it's going to rain a lot. It's all a myth. You know? <laughs> There's rain, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, tell, don't tell them. We don't <laughs> no, want all the people right. from yeah, California. There's a lot of people from California that want to come up here right now. <laughs> yeah, right now they do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. Okay. So then you started in the MLS. So here it is, the, the, the Metro Stars. It's the, it's the second year of the league. Yeah. What, what was that like for you? I mean, is that so, uh, being a rookie, um, you know, didn't really play much. I lasted maybe like seven months there. Okay. And then I got traded to uh, Los Angeles with the Galaxy. Okay. And and that, and that that coach was a real tough guy, right? And well, LA. it wasn't Ziggy at the time. Oh, no, it wasn't oh. in the beginning. He, he met me. It was uh, Octavio Zambrano. Okay. Was the coach ah, at okay. The time. Ah. And Ziggy came. In, this was '97. Ziggy came in '99. Nine. Okay. Okay. So he came there in '99. So he met me there. Okay. But uh, yeah, so you know, it, it's one of those things where I wasn't playing much. Um, and I think I, I was involved in eight games, started four, and then you know, that was with Sombrano. No, this was back in New York. I'm oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So then they decided to move on with me, and you know, I went to LA, and it was a blessing in disguise for me. I mean, that I spent 12 seasons in the league, and that's where I spent most. I spent seven seasons there. So yeah. wow, that's what was the heart of you know my, my wow. career yeah. there in LA Galaxy. And, have a lot of memories from from, yeah. from those teams, you know, because we were. Yeah, we were talking that you played with a lot of the uh, players that I mentioned uh, from Mexico. That's where you played yeah, with, like Jorge you know, Campos. Yeah, I played with Campos. I played with uh, Hermosillo, Luis Hernandez, and then wow. I ended up playing with uh, Ramon Ramirez with the with the Chivas because I went on to play with them in right. 2005. So a lot of those guys I played against during World Cup qualifying when I represented St. Vincent and then ended up playing with them on a club team. So so out of all those guys, who was the best player out of them? I mean, they played different positions, but who would you say had the most talent class out of the all those players? Probably Luis Hernandez. You know? Luis. He was, he, was, he was a very good striker. I mean, he was one of those guys. I don't know if you guys remember the 98 World Cup. He was very successful yeah. in Mexico yeah. in that. In that. Yeah. And so he was, he was a very good good player. But Hermosillo was good. I mean, Campos was very good in the goal. Uh, he was a bit of a jokester, but yeah, you, know, you I could were tell telling me stories about this guy. But you know, it, it was fun times. It was good players. Uh, it was, so it was fun competing against them and ending up playing with them. I had a lot of fun. Man, that's, that's so awesome. That's great. Okay, so you were there with Siggy. 
at L.A. Yes. And then you played with him at Columbus, too, right? Yes. So then I got traded from L.A. Uh, to Dallas in 2003. Uh, okay. And then I ended up playing in D.C., back with Chivas. Yep. And then when Ziggy got the job in Columbus, you know, he traded for me for to you. come to Columbus. Excellent. And so I spent my last three years there in Columbus with him Great. also. Excellent. So we... We have a long history. I mean, I've known Ziggy now since 99. So, yeah, long time. You know, 15, 16 years. Yeah, he's a great guy, obviously. Yes, yeah, he's, definitely. Uh, I, I will admit that I was pretty pissed at the end of the Portland <laughs> game, or the, the Shalry Joseph Portland game. Oh, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah a couple last, years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago, two years ago. Two years ago yeah. He was I, not a big was, fan at that moment. I was <laughs> he not, was not. I love Ziggy. I've loved him since the beginning. But for that like period of time oh, i was so like oh my god my heart broke but you back like, you you, you oh, come I'm back on, around I'm on. Oh, yeah. well, you know what around. you know what honestly it was it was um it was at the at the business meeting when we had the business meeting that year and uh -huh. and joe roth and, and adrian and everybody got up and they said we are going to put a hundred support 100 percent of our support behind ziggy we're going to give him what he needs and we support him and we're not going to let him go and then i read gas man's book the uh you know his book um uh, Authentic masterpiece, right? Authentic, Authentic masterpiece. masterpiece. Yeah. And when I read that, it changed my entire. And then, of course, watching uh, Levy films. Uh, uh, Scotty. Uh, Scott. Scott. Yeah. yeah. His his yeah. movie too changed my whole perspective on you know we're all people too, right? And yes. at that moment, I I just couldn't like imagine like, why we had Shelby Joseph. I know why. I, I know some of the rationale behind well, it. Well, we had some injuries. But it, we had a lot of injuries. Yeah, yeah a lot of injuries. But it was such a heartbreaker for all of us that took the bus down there. And it was, I it was, it was oh. morally... <laughs> oh, my God, it was my... Oh. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm getting better. Sorry, I'm getting better. But anyways, I'm 100% well, on board. 100% yeah, on board. That we're past now. that now. And we've gone on to... But anyways, better, better yeah, we're better, 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 bigger and better things now. But, yes. but uh, I like to put my foot in my mouth a lot, so I just have to tell the story that, you know, I was not a fan for that short amount of time there. There was a lot of people that you weren't the only one. No, I was not the only one. No, absolutely. So anyway, okay, so, you, so you've known him forever. Yes. And you, uh, and, and you were an assistant coach from 09. Yeah, from the first season. So last year. we won the championship together in LA yep. back in 2002. Yep. And then again in Columbus in 2008. And he was coming to Seattle. And he said, listen, you know, I don't know if you, you are ready to retire, but, you know, if you are, I would love to have you on my staff up in Seattle. You know, and I told him, yeah, let me think about it. Because yeah. I was... 37, still felt like I was young, I yeah. could still play. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just come up a championship, you know, so you want to keep going. But um, I thought about it, and after about a month or so, I, you know, I called him, I said, yes, you know, let's something I want to do, you know, let, yeah. let's do it, you know, and, and it's the nice. best decision I've made, you know, in yeah. my post-career. I mean, yeah. it's, nice. it's been wonderful for me. Uh, I've learned a lot yeah. um, from him and, and Brian Smetzer, yeah. the, the head assistant coach, yep. and, and a lot of what I do now as a head coach of S2, is what I've learned from those guys as yep. coaches, you yep. know, game preparation yep. and stuff like that. So I'm very grateful for that opportunity that he gave me, you know, bringing me here with him in, in Seattle. So, you know, I owe a lot to him for that stuff. And, you know, I'm still learning, yep. uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm very hungry, you know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm young, yeah. we can tell. Guy, yeah. And, yeah. And, and I want to learn and, and, and I hopefully, you know, that learning well, process continue and I continue to grow as a coach because, yeah. you know, it's, it's something, it's what I want to do. You yep. know, and it's, I want to be really Well, if, if you're hungry, it. if you're hungry, you have the right team behind you. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, uh, we've, we've got some good guys on that team. Oh, some, amazing. Yeah. So, amazing. Hard yeah. workers, you know, yep. the effort is always yeah. there. Yep. Yep. The quality, you know, is there, you know, yep. so it's just, they're young and they're learning. Yeah. But uh, I think with myself and Jimmy and, you know, Jimmy's, He's a more experienced player than yeah. me. I mean, he's played in like he's won a Champions League. You know? Yeah, so right. Yeah. Oh, that's they, <laughs> they, they learn it from they learn it from from players who from coaches who've played at a yeah. high level and who've won some stuff and, and, and I think they'll be better for it. Yeah. And they they all sponges. They, they will. They they eat up everything. They do. So it's, yeah, it's uh, we've talked to a couple of them as you know. We had Duncan on. Yes. And then we had Andy and Pablito on. Right. And talk about three just amazing young men who are so fun to be around. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and focused. I mean, they're focused. so focused. Yeah. focused. They, you could you could tell they're 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 already pro experienced, like ready to be at that level. To they they know what they want to do. They know what they want to do with their careers, and you know they're just working hard because they know that that's, and, that's and the main thing. They they understand the purpose of the crest. Yes. Yes. Um, and that's 
I, I I was really when I when I heard that concept of, of the crest and people coming in and and owning the crest and, and yeah, yeah. filling that up, I was a little skeptical. I like the idea, but I was a little skeptical. I mean, if you're getting you know young players like like Andy and Pablito and that 18, 19, 20 year old, I see that a lot easier. But you know, how is that? Is it is it the same thing that you know? Are these younger guys able to kind of keep that glue together with this little bit older? Maybe, maybe a little bit, um, what's the right word, seasoned players that have played, you know, either another USL or NESL teams for a little while. Yeah, but what we've done, we've gone out and got some really young players, uh, but it's not all about the, their quality as far as their, their soccer players. You know, we really studied them when we had guys in or when we look at guys, we really studied them like what kind of person they were because... You know, with the entire Sounders organization, we want good people in sure. our organization. Sure. Because at the end of the day, you might have some quality guys who are just, I don't know if I can say a-hole on here, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can say oh, whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah. What we've done is we've gone out and got some a group of guys who are really hungry and who are really, yeah. really fighting for this yeah. every yeah. game. Yeah. And yeah. It, it shows, you know. And, right. You know, yeah. Even though a couple of losses we took on the road, you know, guys were still fighting. And guys sure. were still, we're still trying. You know, we're young and we're going to learn. Yeah. Uh, and we, hopefully we learn from the, some of the mistakes that we made over the weekend. But the hunger that's there and the love yeah. for yeah. You know, the crest, like, as you said, and for the, for the, for the organization and, yeah. the, and the game, it's what's so tremendous about these this group of guys, you know. Yeah. So we, we, it shows. We're very happy. We it's see it. Really yeah, we it do. It show a lot. It, to it totally does. I mean, and it's something that, 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 uh, that, that, that's why we're so proud to be a uh, sound of supporter and fans is because uh, overall it's quality people first and then amazing soccer players second. So it's, yep. it's something that, that we respect that we want to make sure that uh, that continues. And that's why, like you said, they're not, sometimes you might not choose the most talented player because it's not the right fit for the organization or the path, yeah. Yeah. but it is something that uh, it's about the character. And that, that says a lot because community yeah it is well definitely you, I mean you, you do have to have some talent because yeah, I mean, the, the yeah. people want to come out and yeah. they want to enjoy the game yeah no yeah. one wants to leave the, the stadium pissed off after every game because no. we just took five or whatever but well if you, <laughs> if, if, if you live in Portland you have that way <laughs> well, yeah <laughs> but that's good for them exactly wow. right exactly wow. <laughs> well it's Portland week so you gotta kind of you know let them have it week. so but you know it's, it's a family it is. and sure. you want good people in your family and I think we've We've done a good job of bringing in you know, guys who are you know all about the team and not so much the individual. You know? Right, right. right. That's, you know, that's Which is a tough thing though because S2, by nature of it being a club, they need to have the stars to help drive people, yeah. right? You're right. going to get your loyal people who are going to come regardless, right. but then you need to, the casuals, they want to have the individuals, right? Exactly. But and what's cool about it so far, yes. at least it seems like, you got the Pablitos and the Andes, et cetera. Yeah. Who yeah. are and Darwin? I mean, yeah. you, I mean, yeah, yeah. I could go on and on, but you've got some of those guys that are are good people at their core. That they are, they're they're okay being the spotlight, but then Pablito's like, oh no, it's it's Andy, or oh no, it's it's Dunks, or oh no, it's Amadou, or whatever. And it's amazing to watch that. Well, yeah, and one of the things that we, we preach every day to them is it's it's about the team, right? You know? yeah. And let's take Pablito for instance. He's a very technical gifted player he's a player that at any moment in a game could change the game for you yes. as a coach so he's someone you want to have yeah. on the team we've yeah. seen it one of the things that he does for us that if you're not a real soccer fan and you really study the game is his defensive work yeah yeah uh, the way we play uh, we, we try to push team to one side right and his job is to basically cut off that ball from being switched in the middle yeah. Yeah. to right. their deepest line midfielder to the other side right because we were so focused on pushing teams and he does a very, very good job of that. Yep, he does. He does. A lot of people don't really realize that You're his right. defensive work is what's so important for our team. Uh -huh. yeah. That, you know, the, 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 the bombs and the, 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 freak, goal, yeah. the free kicks and stuff, yeah. they, they're going to be there. Right. Yeah. But it's what he does because if he doesn't do that job, then we, we can get it's easy apart. for us to pull us apart. Yeah, yeah. You you know, know, yeah and he does. He kind of he kind of stitches that midfield together, yes. making those yep. making those runs Back through and the forth. field. Yep. And, yeah. and, um, and, and yeah. watching him, because we, we went to, like, every scrimmage. We were there for – I mean, we spent yeah. – all spring or late winter watching every minute we could because we were like all star we're all excited and watching his growth even from that first practice to, to what he, the first game yes where they were all nervous etc but yes. Pablito I, the early games we saw the, the amazing free kicks and the, but then we saw him getting knocked off the ball yeah. a little of this he 
I'm not saying he bulked up yet, but he got tougher, he got stronger, and he's knocked over a lot. Well, yeah. and he's right back up now. It took him a while to learn the the way it's played right. here in the you know because yeah. I know he's used to more technical, fluid, technical right. fluid right. game yep. in Argentina, but. Yeah. Here you have to learn that you know what guys are gonna hit you, you know, especially yeah. when they know you're you're, you're good. good. And yeah. he went through some of that this weekend, yeah. uh, especially the OKC game. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I spoke to the ref at halftime. Like, listen, you know, it's five, six, seven tackles on the same guy. Yeah. And yeah. You haven't called persistent infringement yet. Yeah. You haven't given one a yellow. You know, you need to give someone a yellow. That's the only way yeah. we're gonna keep this playing. The, the, you know, the, the fans pay to see this guy play. Right. 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 To see him on the ground every he, three minutes because some guys. You know, laid on tackles and stuff like that. So, you know, he yeah. he's learned yeah. that, yeah. and yeah, yes, you know, yeah. he's he's coming along fine. I mean. he, he learned a lot faster than Freddie did. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's true. Yeah. It's right. true. I mean, he's very Freddie-esque, right? I mean, he, he does. Yeah. Very technical, like like Freddie Montero. I mean, he's you know he's got that 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 gifted you know just Amazing. he just exudes soccer. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know yeah. he does. And he's, so, but it's yeah, he's a he's a special player. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you guys remember the uh, against the University of Portland. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, in the preseason, yep. oh yeah, we were sitting him out, uh-huh. um, but we're down one nothing. We bring him in in the last yep. 10, 15 minutes of game. Yep. He gets a free kick and he bangs it. Boom! <laughs> and it, it changes, you know, yep. from a loss to, yeah. to a tie. And, and yep. that's the kind of ability yep. he has as a player. That was stuff. one of the first ones that we caught on video. And yes. that, that's where we all realized yeah, this kid was special. And, and we all do this now. As soon as he's on the he's on a free kick, everybody's phone, 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 phone goes up, man. man. Get your phone Who can tweet it first? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. even Thursday night against Tulsa, he yeah. comes on and you know two or three little shots are just oh. bare misses, just oh. barely, barely missing oh. the goal. You know, and it's, I know we it's all. Easy. I was so I was I I tweeted out that we we didn't have Craven and we didn't have have Pablito in the starting lineup and I was like oh my god my heart I just I love those two those are so yeah, awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. I know why I, I can get why I don't know of why course. I, yeah, I assume but, because well, of the, the workload and your development yeah. well we can we can we can speak on that I okay, mean great. because yeah, at the end of the day it's a coach's decision who you start and, and you know I can kind of explain you know what we thought was uh you know we had some 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 nagging injuries coming yeah. off the Portland game yeah. that was a, a bit right. physical it was right and yeah. Yeah. we knew with the travel you know because we didn't get until you know 11 o'clock at night Wednesday night into uh, okay. OKC yeah. uh, to Tulsa after um, layover in Dallas and stuff like that. So we knew it's going to be a rugged time, and we had we had both games the Thursday and the Saturday. So we wanted to mix the group. Yeah. But you know, from the game on uh, against Portland, it was just four changes in the lineup. Yeah. And you know, the back four was still the same. Yep. The keeper was yep. still the same. Yep. Uh, we, we we played three 19 year olds mm-hmm. uh, in Duncan McCormick, mm-hmm. Kudos Luol, and yeah. Olex Anderson, yeah. mm-hmm. and then we brought in Kovar yeah. right. to play on the left. Mm-hmm. Those are the only four guys who didn't start that previous game, so it right. wasn't like a, a mass no. seven or eight right, guys right. change. You know, no, it was right. just four guys, and those four guys all accounted for uh, a, a good part a good of the part. game. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, Luol scores two he goals. Scores two, man. He's come Anderson, on, man. Anderson plays well and has an assist. Yep. Duncan has an assist, yep. and Kovar was just. It was uh, terror on the, on, the, yeah. on the left wing there. So yep. our young guys came in and, and played well, and we did enough in that game to win that game. Yep. But the naivety and you know not really knowing yet how to play on the road and uh-huh. how to keep a lead, I think that crept in and it, 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 it harbored us again on, on uh-huh. Saturday. Yep. So that's stuff that we we talked about, and sure. you know we realized that you know they're young and they're growing, and we just gotta work on. Went on the road, and what we told him is like, no one's gonna give you freebies on the road. You know, sure. the refs are not gonna yeah. be on your side. Yeah, the fans are definitely not on your nope. side. Guys are gonna kick you. You just, you just gotta toughen up and and yeah. and, and and see through it all because it's 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 a lot harder to to win on the road. But yeah. when you've put yourself in position to win, I mean, even let's take the first game. Two minutes into the game, we give up a, a soft goal. Oof. Right. But we we have the resilience to come back, come back. go up two, two one. Yep. Uh, you know, we, we we make that PK and it's a the game is that's, over. That's the you that's know? the one thing that I've noticed about the team is is it doesn't matter what the score line is, these guys are are have enough presence of mind to, to keep the game flowing. Losing, winning doesn't matter. It's they're still charging, they're still attacking, they're still fighting, and and it's it's easy to go when you when you go down a goal early to to yes. to, to play to play you know just to relax start, yeah just to start feeling crappy yeah I, I, but i haven't seen that from, from the guys no 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 um and one of the things that we try to t- tell them about as far as on a given day the game you it can't be all about emotion right you know so like if you're playing portland or you're playing uh vancouver or, Cascade, or you're on the road you know it, it can't be so much emotion you know it, it, we prepare properly 
and it's all about your preparation and let your preparation dictate how the game is going to go because <laughs> if it's emotions, if it's right. all emotion, all right, bro, the minute you take that goal, boom. Yeah. Right. The emotion yep. becomes. Yeah, it's all, it's all gone. And yeah. then you're done. Yeah. yeah. You know? But if you have that preparation, you have that belief, you have that confidence, which we try to stress to them, then you just play through. You stay, still, you stay even focused. Even though we took that, that goal in the first minute, and it's a young team out there. Yeah. I yeah. still believe as a coach, you know, we're going to put ourselves back in this game. And, sure. and we did. They did. Sure. Uh, at the end of the day, we didn't win the game, you know, because, you know, like, like I said, we're still young and we're, we're still learning, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, how to, you know, see games out and how, you know, you're up three, you know, three, two in the second half. Maybe you just hold. Maybe you don't yeah. try to get that killer goal and stuff like that. So we're learning. And, and that's what, you know, we as coaches have to do to these young guys is teach them, right. you know, not just how to cross the ball, but how to manage games yep. and stuff like that, how to prepare for games. That's, that, that's going to lead me to my next question since we were talking quickly about, yeah, about this game and being on the road. Um, first road trip, um, I'm assuming they were all perfectly good young gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there, there, was, there was no problems? Um, no, no problems. Like okay. I said, we have a good group of guys. Yeah. Uh, you know, guys are going to do stuff, but sure. nothing that – no problems. I'm well, I mean, you know, goofing around and stuff like that's going to happen. I just, you know, it's like, you know, kind of like first time away from home. And, you know, it's like yeah. new, yeah. New, everybody's starting to finally get each other. So, yeah, you know, there's, we have fun. Okay. You know, good. the guys, they laugh, <laughs> they laugh around, they yeah. joke around, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a good group of guys. Right. They like each other. Right. And it's, 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 there's a unity within the team. Yeah. Which good. It's something that, you know, we demand of them. Right. Because, you know, if you're not united, then, you know, it will show on the pitch. Yeah. Right, the, right, yeah. It'll show on the pitch. And I think, you know, we have a group of guys that, that like each other, like playing with each other, like playing, like I said, for the, for the Sounders. And it's, it's, it's a good situation. You know, I, uh, the hardest part of, for us as coaches, it's, it's over. It's getting the right group of players here. That, right. You know, now right. all we got to do is just teach. And with them being such sponges, it's, 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 it's an easy job. You know, it's, 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 it's going to be trying times, and sure. we know that. But right. we have a group of guys that just are willing to learn, and and that's just going to get better. And you that's, are looking at the future of the Sounders. You that's know, awesome. It's, you said it right there. So man. I mean, yeah, I'm just don't, like, don't I'm cry, Hugo. I'm just sitting here in awe. I'm just like, me I'm, too, I'm, man. I'm me too. Guys, I don't ever like shut up this much. I'm just like this yes, awesome. we <laughs> know. No, he's the, he's right. He doesn't. <laughs> I don't. I don't like talk. Yeah. Hey, but so, so I have a question though, because you've 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 said, you've said them five or six times now in the last few minutes. So we haven't. I, I haven't seen anything about officially who the, who, who your coaches are. Do you uh, is that something we can talk about who they are, or is it not? Is it like no. a quiet thing or whatever? Because I just haven't seen anything in the news or as far as my uh, your assistant, assistant coaches, assistant etc. Okay, and your, so your Jim, goalkeeper coach, etc. Yeah, Jimmy Traore. Okay, he's the Jimmy Traore. Um, Which remember, you remember? You remember? Traore. <laughs> Traore. Remember that guy? He he was one. Oh my god, I do I love him? <laughs> the yeah. oldest, uh, fastest guy I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good way so to put he, it. So he's assistant coach. Assistant uh, coach. Jared yeah. Phillips. Jared uh, Phillips. Okay. He's a, uh, fitness. Okay. Fitness okay. guy. Okay. Uh, Joe Montgomery. Joe Montgomery. He's a uh, trainer. Athletic okay. trainer. Okay. At the moment, we don't have a, um, a goalkeeper coach. Okay. So you know, Tommy Dutra helps out with Great. that yeah. from the first team. Well, and, and, and Tommy watches with Brian sometimes when on the road. So he's. Yes. We yes, love. Yes, we yes, love yes, him. Yeah. We love him. Good guys. Good no, we know yeah, when guys. on the road no they like coach. to like to hang out in the hotel room together and, and play our show. Yeah. So <laughs> the first time reason I don't know why. But. Yeah, we're in the process of trying to find a goalkeeper coach that will do both the academy okay. and okay. S two. Oh, nice. Double up on that duty. So. Great. Yeah, so that's that's good stuff, and okay. you know we, all the guys from the first team help. You know, yeah. Grant Clark helps. You well, know, what's Pat Onstead doing? Vince these Johnson. Days? <laughs> Vince Johnson no. helps out a lot. You know, uh, we have a lot of we get a lot of support from the first, from the first team, team staff. Yeah. That's great. As right. far as you know, operations yeah. and administrative work and yeah. stuff like that. So that's great. you know, S two is, is well backed by the entire organization. Uh, entire yeah. organization. That's great. Yeah. So, which brings me up to another question that's asked here in the in the chat room, and again. Feel free not to answer it if you can't yet. No, I'm, I'm but open. I know you're open, so, but, yeah. I, but th this one's a little tougher, right? Okay. So coming up here in a few weeks, we mentioned it in the kind of our pregame, we have our favorite tournament, the Open Cup, starting. And we have a very interesting thing this year because we had last year where we had a whole wide group of people we could pull from. Yes. Because we had the reserves, et cetera. Now we have two teams entering the Open Cup, and you won't face each other until the finals. Which yeah. we know is going to happen, right? We know it's going to yes. be finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, yes. At Starfire, hopefully, right? For the finals. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, cap tied. This is a cap tied thing, right? So, or a, co a competition. Co competition yeah. tied. So, yeah. so, all of a sudden here, you got somebody like, and I'm not asking for specifics necessarily, as yeah. you want to, but like Dar, et cetera, right? You know, Dar's a first teamer. 
but he's playing with you guys. You got Kovar, but he's playing with you. Anyway, so yes, just, just, just so, if you guys, down. if you guys started talking about that and thinking yes, about yes. that and planning, we've, we've started that conversation. He's like, he's like, Siggy, can I please just have <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me yes, somebody, man. Siggy, if you're listening, if you're watching, <laughs> let I need, me have about four or five players. <laughs> I, 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 I need, I need Dylan. I need Christian. I need, well, here's if the problem. Spare Omar or anybody else. Go ahead. Yeah, here's, exactly. the, Omar. here's the problem. If if S2 goes past the first round of yes. Open Cup, which yes. we plan on doing, yes. then it becomes a major problem. A major. Because if once we get into June and all that, yeah. and then come you know the summertime when the first team has to play MLS games, yeah. CCL, Open Cup games, CCL games, and if we're still in Open Cup, yep. then it becomes a problem. Um, as far as how we're gonna divvy up those players uh, yeah. about being cup tied and stuff, uh, we're discussing right now. Good. Okay. Um, the one thing that we do know is. So in regular USL play, Canadian players, like say Afrano, uh -huh. yep. does not count as an international. But during Open Cup, he counts he as an international. Yeah. Uh, and you only allowed five internationals. So and, and Pablito probably counts as an international, Pab yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Pablito, so. San Yang. Oh, all of them. You know, yeah. 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 yeah, right. Luol. Anderson, Laval, yeah. we have a whole... The, the, the team. The team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have well, except, a whole... except for Oxford. Yeah. yeah. We have <laughs> Damien Lowe, you know, yeah, Fisher. Right. We have a, a whole lot of those guys who Jeez. fit under that um, okay. Thank you. international. So we're going to have to, you know, somehow split them up. But, okay. you know, I, I think Ziggy and those guys will do a good job of, oh, yeah. of you know, yeah. letting us know yeah. in time, you know, who are the players that we're going to have. And then, you know, if... If we need to bring in academy players, then we bring in academy players because okay. you know yeah. we we sure. want to start building up that generation, yep, building that, those yeah. uh, the, generation, uh, those yeah, those academy players and mm -hmm. talk and about hashtag first world problems right there. I know, really, I know. <laughs> first great, world soccer problems. problems it is, it is. I thought of it earlier today, and then we've a few people have asked that as well. Yeah, it's so kind of clear, clarity there. We do have that issue of being cup tied and stuff, and yeah. we don't want to cup tie a guy who might have to play in a open cup for the first team because right. yeah. at the end of the day we're all building towards you know if you think of the period yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. it's about a first team right yeah, yeah. And yep. so yeah. the first team have right. you know you want them to have the players. opportunity yeah. uh, if you can remember from the, our first game to our second games you know we played against sacramento we had yeah. six five or six starters that mm -hmm. we didn't have for the vancouver game yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. but that's just something that's just going to happen yeah. So we just bring up and, and, and vice versa. Four academy kids. Right. See, see, and you know, uh, Victor, you know, or Vic, oh my, you know, God. Victor, yeah. Victor in the in the lineup, you know, on yes. with the first team. That's, you know, it's like that's awesome. It's great to see that. Yes. But it's like, you know, we're seeing that pull already in in, in league play, and just like, right. oh, what's it going to be like, you know, in, in in three months when we're when the heat of the season yeah. opens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you know, if S two is far in the into the Open Cup, it, when they're it could, far. In. Be a, become a, a oh, major, yeah. major, major problem yeah. for you know not just us but every MLS team that you know, has yeah. uh, a USL a that, USL that, that likes to play and, yes. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you think about it. I mean, it, there there is that 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 desire. I mean, no one plays competitively for the Open Cup. DC United plays competitively yep. for the Cup. Yeah. We play competitively for the Cup, and then everybody else does until oh we got knocked out. Oh well, <laughs> you know it's like. Yeah. Well, why do you think that is? I mean, is it because they're they don't have the 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 depth you know we do? Or well, it takes a lot out of your um your roster. Sure, it, it yeah. takes a lot because there's injuries and stuff that's sure. involved throughout the year and stuff, and sometimes you have to make a choice. You yeah. know, like uh, you so let's say you're in the Western Conference and you're playing, you have a Western Conference uh, match with, yeah. your, with your first team right. Right. coming up on Saturday, right? But you asked to play this uh, mm. Open Cup game on Wednesday. Right. You know, what do you do? You know, even if it's a quarterfinal game and that might put you into a semifinal, then you, as a coach, you have to decide, okay, what's more important right now? Gaining these three points that might propel us and keep us into the playoff right. race or getting to the semifinals of the Open Cup. It is a know? delicate and balance, man. You have to yeah. make that decision. And, oh, you know, yeah, it's, you know it's, if, you, if you have a, a deep team as Seattle, then you do both. <laughs> <laughs> you get the three points in the weekend and you put yourself into the Let's finals. Let's go. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! Some teams are not that fortunate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like Colorado. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, no. oh sorry. that was too soon. I'm sorry. I can't call it. No, no, days. you can't. I can't. But you can't. You know, no, no. But, but a day like today. Like I don't. Want, yeah. I, well, I don't want to give anyone any. No, no. Uh, I mean, locker room. No, uh, gosh, no. I, I don't either. <laughs> no, but, uh, locker room bulletin. Uh, <laughs> but it's um for me watching <clears throat> the Open Cup games though. I like the fact that. Siggy and you and everybody in the past has 
put that. Yeah. That yeah. we've and Adrian, et cetera. We put the focus on that because yeah. it gives us a CCL berth. Yeah. Yes. So how cool would it be to have S two beat S one oh, for wow. the for the for the CCL berth <laughs> wow. and then have Whoa. have S one so have, like have S one get the MLS yeah, Coach go. Ezra will and be okay with it. I heard it here that first. would be awesome. That'd be awesome. It would be awesome. That'd be dope. Hey, and then, check and then, check and then, us in September, October for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be awesome. Oh, dude, I would geek yeah, out that like would be forever on that one. All right. Well, okay. All right. Okay. So you sure? Yes. <laughs> All right. So I got one more serious question. We're gonna have more serious. But I have one yes. more serious question, and then we'll, we'll go into our, our, our traditional our funny questions. traditional yeah. questions. Yep. Um, uh, Kyle Gervin uh, uh, is a, b a big fan of the future. He's gone to Academy Games for years, yeah. etc. He comes. He's joined us for the uh, shows when we had the. Uh, the S2 players on. Um, he wanted to know, looking back at last year, when you were doing the, the last couple of years, you were doing the, the, the reserves versus S2. What are, you, what are your thoughts there? Are you happy with the way we've gone with the UC, uh, USL and the S2 formula as opposed to the way the reserves were set up? Or what are the benefits, the pros and the cons, so to speak, in, yeah. your, in your mind overall? Well, I think one of the benefits is that with the S2, you're gonna have, we have 28 games. That yes. these guys can play. Yeah. Right. I mean, yep. let's take last year, for instance, with the reserve. We played six games. Yeah, it was uh, not so. Six. Yeah. Players fourteen from from players fourteen to you know twenty or whatever. Yep. It's really hard to get those guys the minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Right. And and we all know that you, you, know, you could train every day as much you want. If you're not playing games, then you're not really gaining that needed experience. Sure. Yeah. And so this is a way for us to get guys, you know, young guys who we see with being a part of the, the Sounders for the future, meaningful games, Tangent. meaningful sure. yeah. minutes, yeah. Sure. Yeah. you know, being in situations where it matters, you know, we're playing for a championship in the USL. Sure. You know, we're playing, yeah. we're playing to, for the playoffs. Right. You know, yep. with reserve, you're just playing and, you know, a guy might play 35 minutes the night before and then come and play 60 minutes with you on 11 o'clock yep. in the morning, yep. right. you know, right. no fans or anything. Yep. Here we're putting players in front fans. Right. Uh, we have rivalry, rivalries that's developing, and so it's. I think it's a better way of developing the young players mm -hmm. because you're putting them in an actual game situation, situation. a game yeah. that really means something. Exactly. You know, if you lose a reserve game, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's kind of yeah. 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 If you lose, it's, these it's games, like when you're playing you U6. Make, yeah, you might not make the playoffs. <laughs> right. You know, there, there's you have to win yep. in this league. Yeah. So you you get that development, and it's it's just a, a better way for us to get our players prepared. And there are some guys who, you know, maybe they travel with the first team uh, for two, three games, and within those three games, they didn't, they didn't get into the game. So now you, you have a guy that loses two weeks of, you know, right. playing. Yep. Right. Start losing fitness. Yep. Right. Yep. Start losing match fitness. Mm -hmm. Now with S2, you know every week that player, you can get a game. Yep. You can get a game for that player, you know, because you might not get in. Even though he's on the 18 on the first team, uh, he might not get in. He might maybe he's your 17th or 18th guy that might sure. not get in because yep. you only have three subs. Yep. Right. So sense. four people are not gonna play. Let's yep. say, you know, three people yep. then the goalie and stuff like that. So it's a way of you know really giving these young players quality minutes and and kind of fast tracking their improvement to becoming sure. you know full professionals. It, so b real quick follow up on that. So then when you look at that and you have to judge your roster here, you've got. You're 10, I think, 10 signed yeah, players. Yeah, 10 signed players. And then you've got four or five academy kids you're bringing up, or three or four, it depends yeah, on the game. Right. And then you're bringing down four or five, maybe, depending yeah. on you know the week. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Are you trying to get the 10 a lot of minutes and then a couple of the the, 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 the four or five from down and a couple from here? Or are you just going with well, a plan? I mean, are you guys working on that with the Sydney, S2, et cetera? Yeah, the S2 staff has a running dialogue with the first team staff. Okay. And so we know who is training well, who's training okay. properly. Right. And obviously we're with the guys, our 10 guys every mm -hmm. day, so we know who is, who's training well mm -hmm. and who's in form. Yep. Okay. Right. You know? And so we talk. Great. And you know, I would say to Ziggy, okay, you know, we need a left mid, this, that. And Great. he said, well, you know, Kovar has been playing well in training or Victor has been training well in, in training, you know, stuff like that. And he asked me about our players, you know, who, yeah. who's doing well and stuff. When the first team guys come down, are they training well? If they are, then you know I bring them up. If not, maybe I, I, I go with someone else. So we have a dialogue, and, and we know. But one of the things that I told the 10S2 players is that, listen, your playing time, how much you play, is going to be determined solely on how well you do in training every day. Okay. You have to sure. show up in training every day. Yeah. 
So don't think that because, okay, maybe this first team guy trained with the first team all week and he just come and train with us one day, then you automatically start in front of him because you've been there for five, six days and he just comes down for a day. Or vice versa. Don't think that because he's first team and he comes down, he's going to start in front of you. You still have to perform because right, it's right, going to yeah. be base. You know, and there is going to be the one-offs where, you know, Ziggy said he's the head coach. He says, you know what, I need to get some minutes for this guy. That sure, guy right. plays because sure. in the day, you know, he's on the first team for a reason. So we've got to get that guy minutes. But for the most part, your performance, you know, day in and day out is what puts you on the pitch or not. And right. we, we, we don't play favoritism. We, we put the players out there that, you know, we think are doing the job in practice right. every day. You know, so and we have good players. So, you know, it, it's been easy to plug guys in and out, sure. know, taking sure. guys off, giving guys rest and stuff like that. So and they're young. Yes, they're young and they can run all day, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so I, I got a I got a dumb layman question for you. Um, so we, a, a lead question. A lead question, and, and this is somewhat for the audience too. <laughs> that, that doesn't that that's new to to uh, USL or yeah. NASL. Um, is it, is there a league minimum <clears throat> that a pay for for payment um, with USL, or is it a stipend league? Or um, no, there's no league minimum. So so um, it's just. Based on the team, you, you whatever the team okay. is paying, you know, so different. There's some teams that are paying a lot of money sure. for players. Sure. Uh, you know, some teams are not. Right. So, but it's not like much. it's not like MLS where. No, it's not like a. There's, there's no, no union, union, union or union. anything like that. So, so the, there's no the collective bargaining. Are held, and, contracts are held by the by the Sounders. They're. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and w- the contracts are guaranteed though. Okay. That's, that's the one thing right. that okay. they are yeah. guaranteed contracts. So. Great. You know, once you sign a guy, you better be sure about him because yeah. <laughs> he's, he's yours. He's yours for the for the duration. Right, you know? right. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. Okay. So um, every every show we ask some funny, silly, All whatever right. questions, and then we'll come back. If you guys have any questions here, we'll ask some questions here. And I know I've got a couple more here, but um, do you want do you want to kick it off, or do you want me to? Oh, well, let's let the Mexican do it. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> All right. This so is important. First, let me ask you. You, you played it, uh, in Mexico, in Estadio Azteca, mm-hmm. one of the meccas of soccer in the world. Did you ever have tacos down there? I, I've been to Mexico several times, so I'm, I've had tacos in okay. Mexico many a times. What is your favorite taco? My favorite taco. Oh, my God. I know. I know. It's, it's intense here. It's an important Sonar favorite, yeah. People want to know. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Like when when you say like the, the filling of what kind of meat, what kind of sauce, or carne asada, carnitas. Have you ever had carne asada? Carne, carne asada. asada. Carne, carne asada. asada. Have you had anything like a little more adventurous, like a tongue taco or no? I, not I, or I'm bu- very picky. And, oh really? <laughs> and what I try and okay. what I eat. Okay. Um, so if it's anything that's not okay in the norm, <laughs> you're like no. I probably <laughs> I probably haven't and probably wouldn't try it. But okay. I don't know. I'm. I've had. I love Mexican food, so nice. I've had very, Let's very, go. very good Let's Mexican go. food. Let's Bang! Go. Let's he, go. he introduced me to the tongue taco, the yeah. lingua. Lingua, and, it's uh, really good. And actually, my eleven-year-old really daughter, tender. I, I got her. I got her to try it, and she liked it. She didn't like love it like she wants to eat it every time, <laughs> but she ate it, yeah. and uh, I love it. I Think eat of it, it as really now. tender it's like beef. beef. It's just beef. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Well, we eat goat in my country, so oh, oh you'll okay. love it. You'll love it. It's just like having goat. It's like birria. It's it's just like that. Yeah. It, it is. It's, no, it's hey, really tender, like goat. Here, you gotta cook goat. Here, I mean, good. it's a little tiny bit gamey, like like yeah. goat. It, right. It's good. It's it's a great. I mean, yeah. it is. It is. Yeah. You're killing me, man. Hey, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> the intense questions. All right. The next the next one is something we ask every guest on the show. As and well. I'm excited about this because I think he's actually gonna know about these ones. I'm I like think the, so the young oh, players yeah. that we've gotten. They're like. Like who? who? So, <laughs> so, so we rather enjoy music here, and, and we, there's an East Coast West Coast rivalry we have, and so we ask everybody: Biggie or Tupac? Tupac. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, was, wow. I was in LA for a long time. Yeah. I lived okay. in LA uh, for a long okay. time. So. All right. Live or die in LA. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, following that up, with do you have any nicknames? Yes. Nicknames. S- nicknames that you're willing to share with us. Just <laughs> easy. 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 Yeah, that, that's okay. it. Easy. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, good. some of the guys, some of my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, this is not bad at all. Okay. They, they call me Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Lord Ring. of the because, Rings. Yeah, I've, I've won some rings in my time. Yeah. Playing and stuff. I like so it. Some guys throw that out there every now and then. 
But uh, do you like to just wear them around the locker room every no, now and then? No, they have put away in a safety deposit box somewhere. In See, nice. in, somewhere See, in Indiana, nice. my dad, <laughs> my dad has them. That's has awesome. them somewhere. Yeah, that's wait, wait, good place no, for him. That's what I saw on Pawn Stars the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to call my dad. Yeah. Like, Which one is your favorite ring? Wow, oh, that's a good question. I'd have you, to yeah. say the first one the in LA because really we had went to the finals twice before and lost mm. in '99 and 2001. Okay, and then in 2002 we finally got it, and I think that was was probably the best one. Uh, my my favorite because it was just the first, you know. It was yeah. uh, we did win uh, the CCL championship yeah. also in LA, uh, and in the championship game I scored two goals. We won three two, so I saw that. that's a memorable moment. But as far as the MLS uh, ring, that I think the 2002 championship was the most memorable. All nice. right, yeah. all right, good. Okay, that's awesome. Do man. Do, do fans in Columbus really? Open up smoke in their bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Open up smoke, smoke bombs in their bathrooms. They took a selfie in I the bathroom. I have no idea what you're there was talking a great, about right now. There was a couple. Was it a year ago? Two years ago? There was a. There was a. They, they took a selfie of them popping smoky. You know, smoke yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they were doing that in the bathroom. In the bathroom. It was yeah. the funniest. What like, was that about? I, I don't know. I, I, we, no we, nobody knows. We saw photos <laughs> going online. We've been man. joking about it for th- two you or three see years. see what happens? You see Seattle fans yeah. doing stuff, and they try to do it, too. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't know how to do it so. right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do it in the bathroom. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> do you have a favorite memory playing for your national team? Because then you play in a lot of international yeah. Yeah. Uh, matches with a lot, of, a lot of the countries in the CONCACAF. Yeah. What's um, some of your favorite memories playing uh, internationally? I would have to say my first, my very first game. Uh, playing there. Um, I was new to my okay. country because I had left at 13 and never went back until I was 23. Wow. So, yeah, and yeah that's so I'm, intense, I'm back man. at 23 years. and I'm playing in a Windward Islands tournament yeah. uh, and we played Barbados. Uh, and uh, no, it wasn't Barbados. I think Dominica, one of those teams. Okay. Dominica. And um, yeah, I just, I just remember being out there just, you know, because I have real love for my country. Well, of course. And national anthem. Being the captain, the national oh, anthem. Oh, man. You know, just, just wearing that jersey, it was special to me. You know, and I, I played with them for 12 years, 12 seasons. Yeah. 12, uh, three World Cup uh, qualifying uh, rounds. Wow. You know, wow. always went to the semifinal rounds of the CONCACAF, even over a small island. So we had some good teams. But that first game, I think, was just being home, you know, after 10 years. Represent my country. So, and, man. That's awesome. And, that is, that cool. is awesome. You know, wearing that captain's armband and you know, you know, playing for that flag. That was that was special for me. Uh, I'll That's never great. forget that day. I love it. That's, That's awesome. awesome, man. Love it. That's Total, great. totally awesome. That's yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. yeah. All right. So we in, in the chat room here, we have mm-hmm. some questions. Okay. A, cu- a couple questions relating to the uh, the fan support. So obviously, you've been at S1 games for many years, and you've seen the traveling support all around the world yeah. for S1. Um, how important is that for S two, for the for the for the players? And do you guys talk about that at all? About or do you guys hear that when you're out there? Do you block it out? And then the follow up is, when 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 they like for instance, it's controversy, so you don't have to answer this part of it. But they didn't do the smoke, or they took away our smoke last week, right? So we couldn't do the smoke before the yeah. games. And the team sat down for two, or the team the ECS sat down for two minutes at the beginning of the game. Do you notice that kind of stuff? Or is that like you're just, you're focused and no, you don't know it's I personally at the game? I personally yeah. did not notice yeah. that. <laughs> but as far as the fans cheering and stuff yeah. and the support, I mean, yeah, uh, players would feed off that. Yeah. And one of the things I was talking to uh, a couple people about earlier is about Starfire being so intimate. Mm-hmm. And with you guys being there cheering, like basically on the field, it's awesome. You know, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 I, it's a great atmosphere. It's, it's not going to be the same without the beer garden like it was before, with everybody just standing up against the rail. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's so much better. Says the guy, yeah, yeah, the guy I, doesn't I, drink I, anymore. I may or may not have verbally abused Kevin Hartman for 45 minutes once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. His wife just said, yes, you did. <laughs> I, I verbally abused him, and I may have called his mom some really bad things, oh, wow. too. Yeah. <laughs> I played with that guy yeah. for, for a number oh, of years. Yeah, yeah. In of LA. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, um, you know, that support is very, very much welcome. It's, it's, it's. It's important it's, to you guys. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Uh, but I didn't realize. I didn't pick up on the two minutes. So yeah, it's down. a small thing, right? Yeah, and they didn't want to. They didn't want to <laughs> make it because we're not. The fans are not trying to make it about us. Right. But it, there is something about 
when the when the team and the league etc uh, uses the visuals so of why that. why is it that that's we not don't allowed? Uh, well, from everything I read from online from ECS, is it sounds like a, uh, somewhere between the Fire Marshal, Starfire, and S two, there was some communication chain that broke, and okay. they didn't have a full communication, and they wanted to change the rules, etc. So. You know, I don't want to speculate too much on it, right. but, but so. we talked about it last week on the show, and we're kind of like, like for me, I sat down with them too, and I, I like to stand, I like to cheer, I like to chant, and it was kind of hard to like. So sit. is that going to be for every game, or was that no, just it that was, game? No, they're working behind the scenes to figure it out. Oh. Yeah. So they're trying to figure it out. So we're hoping that this is all known. They come to resolution. But and if, boom. if let me ask you, if if the fans sat for for ninety minutes. You would notice that. Yes, for sure. I mean, <laughs> definitely. at that point. <laughs> definitely, so, definitely, definitely, definitely. It'd be like a reserve game again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. in a way. I mean, yeah, in a certain way. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. You think the fans would do that? I don't know. Is, is it? That would be a, a form of protest? Uh, yes. Oh, so it would just be... That was one of the comments that was made by not one of the leadership, but mm -hmm. on the Facebook group of okay. reading the things, a couple of people said, well, well, well two we minutes is nothing. We, we should sit for the whole game. Oh. And I'm like, well, you know, I don't know offense, about... Offense are too Oh, wow. Wait a minute. M Mansa Ray was just called up to the U18s? Uh, Is that what that said? Yes, he yes. will be going. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, nice. he'll be yeah, thanks for spilling the beans. Wow, yeah. coach. <laughs> That's a first. Let, here, let no, MLS no. tell me. <laughs> Breaking live on the app. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, how cool is that? And what's his name is going to the U20s. Yes. Yeah, Roldan. 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 Yeah, I okay, love so that. you guys he, know that. He, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, he, yeah, he was on the show, actually. Okay. Right after yeah. he signed. And Literally, he was drafted Thursday. He was here on Monday. Monday. It was that. It was, was awesome. awesome. Oh my God, he's such yeah. a good kid. God, so, talk about someone kid. being uber focused. When I was that age, oh. man, yeah. I was not. A you're smoking. this. You're 35. You still have problems. You're actually right. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very good young talent. Uh, very yeah, good. He's he's gonna be really good for for the organization. Yeah. Uh, but I thought with all this social media stuff that would have been out here. About the metric? Okay. No, I haven't seen anything uh, about no, it. No, no, at least I haven't. Well, Kyle, Kyle didn't pick up on it yet. So. Yes, they just announced it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so he'll be leaving us. I think he leaves on Wednesday. So an another question that's been asked about three times here, um, which I think is great. Who's the biggest prankster, jokester? And I, I have my opinion based on the pictures I've seen. But who do you in, in, like? Who's the on, on, on S two? Who's the biggest like? Uh, Hey, like Jorge um, Campos. Yeah. You say that he's a... Yeah, the yeah. biggest prank. Might have to be Duncan. Yeah, right? Duncan. That totally yeah. is. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that was coming. Captain I Crunch. Say, I would have to say Captain Crunch. Yeah. I would have to go with him. The guest you know? here was Pablito, but I just feel oh. like Crunch, Captain Crunch would be totally, yeah, totally the right guy. Yeah, but you know what? There's, there's, it's not just him. A lot of the guys do a lot of you know crazy stuff. Junk, but junk like I said, they have fun. They, uh, these yeah. guys, they joke around with each other. They poke fun at each other. It's a good vibe. You know, being around these guys, it's a great atmosphere. I, I, I love it. Okay. I love it. Uh, Lonnie wants to know um, how, 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 how do you feel the academy kids coming up have played so far? Do you, are, are you been happy with that intermix there? And is that something that you're happy with kind of so far? Yeah, but we haven't had a chance to really get them that many minutes. Yes. To right. really, you know, form an opinion on, as far as performance. But right. when called upon, they have come in and done what we've asked them. And but it's been mainly. You know, in the last five Training. minutes of game, you know, right. uh, Very, yeah. you know, finish out this game for us. Sure. You know, uh, we're up for nothing at home. Yeah. You know, we're, we're going to the locker room. <laughs> Go ahead and finish this <laughs> up. No, no, no. Here's, here's some, some minutes. Here's yeah. some memorable yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But those kids, I mean, they trained with us. They had um, during their spring break, mm -hmm. they come out. Because we train in the morning, so they haven't been able to train with us much. Yep. But during their spring break, you know, five or six of them came out and trained with us. That's great. All week and stuff. And they were rewarded with, nice. you know, being in the 18 that weekend so, yep. so so that was good that's good and uh but they're just stoked they're just excited just yeah. being on the bench even if when they don't get in they're so <laughs> just they're there just, they're just there yeah. just yeah. Like, and you know you could see it on their face they're just like wow oh, you know like yeah you know, total rudy and that's what it's yeah. about that atmosphere having the fans there having uh everything you know the, the tifo the flags seeing yeah. the cheering you, as a 16 17 year old you're going to remember being in Sitting on that bench yeah. and watching S2 beat Portland Timbers 2 in the last yeah. you know, two, three back. minutes of the game. You can oh. remember that goal. Oh, you can remember yeah. how the place went crazy oh, yeah. Yeah. and stuff like that. You know, that, those are the memories you're going to create in those young kids' mind. And, yep. and uh, so, whenever we can get them on the pitch, you know, we try to get them on there. Okay. Uh, nice. And like I said, you know, with Open Cup and uh, this uh, weekend going up in, uh, to Canada, 
we so need to call upon some of them. You know? If you see a pasty white guy about my size, <laughs> he'll, he'll usually always have Nikes on. That's like talking to the kids. Oh. Don't don't worry. He's yeah. okay. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. I don't have to call the police. No, 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 no. no. He's he's okay. He's, he's okay. 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 No. Just say you he's Kyle good. and he'll. Kyle. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. That's great. Oh shoot. Yeah. All right. Can we? Can I ask a question about as a former head coach, you know, or assistant coach of the Sounders? Who back in your in the in those uh, what, I guess five six years with yeah. the Sounders, who uh, up there was the biggest like prankster and everything else like that? I know I mean like when you're thinking of the of the of the first team, do you have any thoughts back in those days? I got to go with Roger. That's it's what I was Roger. thinking too. My first thought was Roger, yeah. but it's either Roger or Brad. I can see Brad too. Yeah, I can see Brad. Totally see Brad. Probably Roger. Roger. Yeah. Roger. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he's, funny, been, and he's, he's not funny, too. though. He is. Yes. Roger is. Yeah. Yeah, he's hilarious. Hilarious. He's a funny, funny guy. He's, yeah. he's a funny guy. And, man, his memory and yeah. his, like, I mean, you see him at events. You know, and, and we had him on the show, and we had a great time with him, and he was a great guy. Yeah. Sang karaoke. Sang karaoke with that. Uh, I mean, yeah. 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 And he, he, but he, like, I saw him on Saturday, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Kyle just said thank you for that. <laughs> thank uh, for the plug. Yeah, thank you for the plug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> um uh, but Roger, like, he remembers everybody and just yeah. he's such a great – I mean, I love Yeah, he's, he's, he's good guy. a good guy. Great guy. Great and guy. And still, I'm, so, I'm happy to see that he's sticking with the organization. Yes. And, and yeah, what a great role for him. Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. It's totally perfect. a great role. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. perfect. So I got to ask a question here. We're at an hour. Mm-hmm. Are you okay for a few more minutes? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. I, that's awesome. I'm good. Do you guys have any questions out here that are watching out here? Go ahead, question. Okay. Go ahead, yes. So first of all, your accent, you can read me your grocery <laughs> list all night. I mean, it's just – I love your accent. All right, so we have – Accent love. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, oh, that's a good I do question. A lot of, um, I help out. You know, I do some you know, coaching. Yeah. Nice. School. So, so the, just yeah. So the, to help the, so the, the question players. to the audience was, uh, does he when he goes home, does he play? And yes, he he apparently likes to knock little kids over. And uh, <laughs> so that that's how you translate it, Pablito, but, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but Pablito, know, tú sabes la verdad. Tú sabes as a, la verdad, Pablo. As a coach, you, you're always working, right? You're always looking for that talent. And Alex Anderson, who's now on the team, I saw him three or four years ago when he was 15, 16 years old playing in a uh, – they have a Christmas morning a small goal tournament. Oh, cool. And I saw him playing, and I was like, wow, this kid is going to be – you know, at that time, he's 15 yeah. years old, you know. And uh, so I, after I, ta- I spoke with him and, and told him, you know, like introduced me to his mom and stuff and – we talked, and I told I told the lady, I said, listen, your son is going to be a, a very special player one day. He's, he can be a professional player. You know? Wow, wow. And uh, so when I got the job, the first thing I did, I called him, because I told her, I said, if I ever I'm in the position to give him an opportunity to play professionally, oh, cool that? I would do that, you know? So that's, that's his mom's like, cool. yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she did. Maybe she did, because what happens with young players like that in those countries, like people come with, all oh, these and the sure. right. sure, sure. They never give me five hundred dollars and I'll get you a spot. You know, or whatever. Right. Right. You know, yeah. They never you know, follow through yeah. on it. So, but it's something I wanted to follow through on. And so I called her and I like, do you remember me? This is Ezra Hendrickson. And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember you. And I was like, well, you know, I got this head coaching job and I would like to um, bring Olex in on trial and stuff. And she was like thanking me and she was like, you know, wow. help him, you know, you know, get him out of here. And, and damn you know, it, why does he have to be such a good guy? I know. <laughs> oh my god. No, but, it's just, I'm just saying, like, when I'm home, some of the things that you do as a coach that, you know, now yeah. for me looking for players, we end up in the, in the, with the Sounders sure. with a, a very, very talented young player. Yeah. I mean, and it's, it's a way to also give back to your roots, to your exactly. community, you know. And I'm always trying to do that. I always want to do that, you know. Yeah, we, of course. You yeah. know, we had, you know, four or five people that from, were from my country in trials this, this year. Nice, oh, good. You know, they didn't make it, at, yeah. but at least... They, they, they got a that shot. Opportunity. They yeah. gave him an yeah. opportunity, and yeah. it just didn't work out because at the end of the day, you can't coach with your heart. You yeah. 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 You know, well, to. it's also getting them exposure, right? It's, yeah. it's getting them the exposure, yeah. and, but it, they just weren't you know, at the level at, that we they needed need. them to be. Yeah, right. sure. You know, so, and, that's, and that's normal. You know, it's, it's hard yeah. because you really want to help the people from you know, the area that you're in and the area from, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just it's fun for me. You know, yeah. I, yeah. I, sure. I love it. But, but but how many players did you guys have in camp that the minute you cut them, they were signed by another team? I mean, like, it seemed like every time yes. you cut somebody, they had a team and like that. One of the things 
we noticed through is that almost to the T, every player that got cut always emailed us or called us and said, Coach, you know, thanks for giving me the oh, opportunity. Man, that's awesome. You know, there are guys who said, even if I don't get another team, I'm going to cheer for S2. That's Stuff great. like that. And when you hear yeah. that as a coach, man, it, one of the hardest things to do is yeah. to yeah. cut a play. Oh, yeah. 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 Because you spend a week maybe with them and you start bonding. And yeah, absolutely. Then, you know, you have to cut your, your rust. I mean, we had, you know, yeah, invite team, we had about 40 players in. You didn't do that to Sammy Ochoa this week, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually, that's Sammy cold. actually played a good game against us. Yeah, he did. On, on, on Thursday. He was, he was very effective. Oh, he was very effective. And but he was so close, like, so many times. Yes. Yeah, because they're... Just like he was when he was here. Yeah. <laughs> but because of their style of play, he, yeah. he's yeah. good for them. Yeah, he's very good for them. He just dumped it long, and he's a big guy. Yeah. He held the ball up well for them, and that gave us some problems, actually. It did, absolutely. But that's a good thing to see, though, and that's a good thing to develop and learn from. Yes. And I think everybody went... Sammy and Choa. Yeah. All right. <laughs> really? So can I can yeah. I say that I've been trying for 125 episodes to cut him, and it's re- I agree, it's, it's really hard. Really it's tough. Just not happening. It's, no, no. I, I mean, it's you're, you're you're attached. Yeah. You're well, attached. I, I, there's also a guaranteed contract in place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, there's, yeah. A, there's some money involved. Yeah, yeah. You can say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. Wait till the next uh, CBA. What, what yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, the next negotiations might be a little weird. Yeah, yeah, they probably will be. They probably will be. A couple years down the road yeah. from now. Does anybody else have any uh, questions out here that they want to ask? Uh, Lisa was raising her hand out. Uh-huh. Lisa had a question, but she doesn't know how to yes, phrase Lisa. it. I don't know exactly how to format, but it seems like the uh, teen girls from Pretty Little Liars were like super. <laughs> No, I think what happened okay, was so that here, was... Okay, so here, real quick. The, the question was, uh, there was a, about a year ago on Twitter, there was a Pretty Little Liars. Is that the name of it? Yeah. There, yeah. There's a hashtag that, like, Ezra is A or something like that. And yeah. I think yeah. most of one of the characters must have had that name. Yes. Anyway, so go ahead and... But she was, she well, was asking about that, 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 that yeah, issue. Yeah, because I saw those tweets, too. And, <laughs> <Yeah>. and <laughs> you're like, what and, the heck? You know, it was tweets like, oh, really? It was Ezra? Did Ezra really do that? <laughs> oh, I can't believe it's Ezra. And I'm just like... <laughs> Why what I this, do? What I do? This stuff it sounds my... like when the entire country of Poland got upset at me. <laughs> why? <laughs> why is this stuff on my timeline? What, what's going on? Yeah. So come to find out on this Pretty Little Liar or whatever, yeah. there's a character named Ezra. Okay. And that's who they were talking about. But it just happened to flood my timeline. I'm just like, what is this? What are they talking about? Like, <laughs> that's what did aw- I do? That's you know? That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. That is awesome. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's great. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Oh, thanks for the comment about my accent, by the way. Right. Yeah. All right, so uh, another question here from Kyle. Uh, can you talk at all about Ian uh, or Lim? I guess depending on how you pronounce it. Yes, Lim. So he, Lim. Mm-hmm. So uh, he's uh, a Korean national, yes. uh, South Korea. Uh, came to, I believe, if I recall correctly, came to one of the um, the Vegas open, combine or the, the open, open combines. Co- combine and Vegas, then yeah. uh, he, he played for us for a long time, and now he's playing with the academy. Can you talk about his situation at all or what he's doing or how he's doing? Yeah, well, this is what happened. So... <laughs> Uh, Kyle's wife is uh, is Korean as well, so she has like a okay. She, she really likes him a lot. So yeah, he he came to the uh, Vegas Combine, okay. not the Combine, the Vegas Tryout. Tryout, okay. tryout. the Combine, tryout. the Tryout. Yeah. tryout. Sorry, tryout. before yes. the Combine started. Yes. Yep. And he was one of uh, about five or six Koreans who we liked. Wow. Okay. And we invited back. We wanted to bring back in January to an invite right. only, mm-hmm. right. but. About four, four of them uh, found teams in Korea okay. in, because it was from December to March yeah. right. or February or whatever. Right. And so they found teams. Uh, and then one guy, I think he's with OC Blues. Okay. But then he was one that left and he came up and we liked what we saw in the invite only trial and we decided to kept him. Now he's, we have, we kept 12 players, but we only signed 10. Yep. Two players, uh, uh, Nathaniel Tungavula also. Oh, right. And Lim, they're both 18. And they're both eligible for the, uh, the, the U18s. For the U18s academy. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's why they still can play with the, the academy. Okay. So they still play. But they are S2 players. Right. Okay. right. But it's kind of they're, they're uh, playing down because they, they can. They have the right. option. They have the option. So that's where the 12 oh. became 10. Yeah, okay, that's that how the 12 sense. became okay. 10. Okay. You know, that makes so way more sense. We signed 10, but we have 12. 12. Got yeah, it. Okay. All right. Yeah, because yeah, that was the number all along. And then, yeah. and then Garth came out and said 10. 10. And I was like, yeah. so was we, like oh, man. Okay. We, Math we, is hard. It is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They are both signed to uh, the U18. The U18s. Okay. Amateur, amateur contracts, okay. and based on how they do, how they progress this year, you know, okay. they'll be. But they'll play in. A, they'll feature in some S2 matches. Good. For sure. Uh, Tongavula, he's a very 
special player also. Okay. Uh, and, but and what young, position is he playing? He's like a number 10. Number 10, he's okay. A, yeah, okay. he's an okay. attacking okay. midfielder type yeah. of guy. Very skillful, very technical, very yeah. clean on the ball. Uh, Lim is a right back. Right, yep. Played, yeah, came in that. and played some right mid for us in one game yep. at Starfire. Yep. I think Starfire, maybe I think. it was the... Sacramento game, maybe? Oh, okay. Or maybe the yeah, Vancouver. No, no, Vancouver. No, Vancouver. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I remember him very well from the Vancouver game, the Vancouver the practice. Uh, practice scrimmage. scrimmage. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And it was pouring like four inches of rain yes, that yes, day. Yes, 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 and yes. he got tackled by that number 42. Yes, he got 40, tackled yeah, very, very hard. Guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big guy, yeah. He makes you look small. I mean, oh my God, he was... Beast. Yeah, so yeah, these guys, they, they're part of the S2 uh, yeah, that's team. Great. Nice. I, 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 I liked him watching early on. He's, yeah. He's a fiery little kid. Yes. Yep. 18, yeah. so Hustle's hard. Hustle. He does. Non-stop. He's also, non-stop. He, gets, he gets up and down, and he's, a yep. very, he's very tactically sound. Okay. You know, he knows the game very well, and he's, he's going he's gonna to be, be good for us. That's good. Okay. So uh, one of the things we've talked about is, uh, is, uh, is Craven. We, we love Andy Craven, mm-hmm. obviously. And one of the questions earlier, I can't find it right now, but one of the questions earlier was like, was, was uh, who does he look most like? Does, does he look? And, and the answer was that was given in the chat room was the lead singer of, of Nickelback was was the comment <laughs> to him. And he's one of those guys that you look at his hair and you look at him and you think, all right, this guy's not going to be that fast. He's going to kind of be whatever. But he's got wheels on him. Yeah. Like yes. nobody. His he's hustle. a very he's deceptively fast. Yeah. He's a very very fast guy. And he never stops. Yeah. yeah. And he works hard. You know, he works hard. He's fast, mm-hmm. uh, and he's a great finisher. Yeah. Yes. A very good oh. finisher. He, yeah. Um, he seems to be an opportunistic goal scorer. Yes. 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 And he's, he, he's he, humble, he, he man. He puts it away. Yeah. You know, he, yeah. you give him opportunity, he's going to put that, it away. That, that, that header. Times. What was the header in the uh, in the second game? Second game. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was a Vancouver game, man. Yes. That, that was takes Dowers three. Yeah. That yeah. takes some quality. Yeah. yeah. That ball is coming off like that, and you got to go that low to head it. Yeah. You, 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 it's easy to miss that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah been, he's he's done well for us. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, cause, and it's also cool to see that that how he he messes with the team. He doesn't. He, he, you don't sense any type of like, hey man, I I like I, I led the NCAA in scoring last year. I, oh yeah, no, no, know, no, he's not about no he's prima not about that. No, he's no, about no, showing up yeah, and working completely. hard. And you would think he was like a trialist trying to make it at the last second back. type cut yeah, instead of of NCAA. And definitely one of the leaders on the team. Oh yeah, yeah he's definitely one of our leaders on S two. Yeah. Absolutely. It's great to have him. All right, we, we're happy that we, you know, we signed him. Oh, I, that we're able to sign we him. Are too. We are too. We are too. <laughs> we all are. We, are. we, we are all big, are. We, we actually, so last week we, we were asked, you, uh, you weren't here, so we should ask you. We, we, we were asked last week in the chat room uh, who our favorite S2 player was. Oh, wow. And what a tough question. Oh, I mean, it man. took me, again, like forever to answer yeah. the question. I couldn't, I couldn't answer it until I came down and I'm kind of like, uh, I was like, do rocks. I say Craven? Because it is. Well, his nickname, thanks to Lonnie, who asked the question about about Lim, uh, his nickname is, is Tenacious C. You know, because t- uh, Tenacious D is D, the uh, band, right? Yeah. So he's Tenacious C for Craven. Right, uh, right, he right. he just never stops. He yeah. goes, 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 yeah, goes. He's and I, not it's hard to say because you got when you, when you when you look at when we decided to rule out everybody who's not on the ten, right? We, we looked yeah. at the only the ten, and it's such a tough, it is man, tough call. I'm not asking you to answer that. I'm just more no, talking. No, I know. It. But <laughs> it's like, <laughs> tell us, tell us your favorite child. Who's your favorite child? child. <laughs> <laughs> I love them all, but you know, in in a group of twelve, you know, we have five or six 19 year old players. Right. You know, we were a very very young I'm team, dude. That's just like you know, and one of the things I told them is like some of these non MLS affiliated teams. When you play against them, you're gonna be playing against a 30 year old yeah. man. You yeah. Play yeah. Against yeah, you know, a 32 I know. 30 year old man. Man, p- watching Sacramento, seeing Sacramento line up against S2 was like, what the hell? <laughs> they're yeah. they're yeah. like, like they're huge. Yeah. Wait till the yeah, yeah, wait till the US Open Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, too bad, you know, soccer is not wrestling, you know. So oh yeah, uh, right. They can be as big as they want to be. That's right. We're just gonna stay technical and right. practical and and go about Apparently it. Apparently, go up four but, two, no problem. Know, that's some of the stuff that. You know these kids are gonna yeah. be faced with, you know, yeah. and yeah. you know we it's we have I think one player above twenty three, you know, and wow. it's but it's the way we want to do it, you know, it's one the way above you know, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Sam Gaza is, is yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it's speaking, speaking of how, how, uh, how's he doing? Is he's he... coming along. Um, he should be ready for this weekend. Okay, um, nice. probably eighteen more than the eleven. Did I'm guessing or great yeah, at the... probably eighteen. Yeah, we don't want to really because the hamstring is a, it's a it's funny a, thing. Uh, you know, it's, oh yeah, you feel like yeah, it's ready until you I, go out and have to make that sprint. And then you, you know, feel right? that twinge. Like, I personally hurts. suffered from a lot of hamstring my my uh, latter years. Okay, 
And I know it's always, oh, you're in training. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And as soon as you get on there and that boom, ball's hitting that corner, you got to make that run. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. maybe that's not quite right. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was looking at the shower, but, you know, I mean. You know, so, but hopefully we can have him this this uh, weekend. Okay, uh, right. Because he, he, I think we missed him we last did, week. We we yeah. We Damien Lowe, yeah. also we missed. Yeah, is Lowe coming back. along pretty well, too? He's coming along pretty well. Okay. So hopefully we're, we're hoping to have both of them okay. this weekend. Okay, good. Uh, it's a big game. It's a, it's a, it's a rivalry game. again. Yep. Well, it's a rivalry. Vancouver. It's a team that you just beat two weeks ago. Absolutely. They're going to have them in, they'll in have their, their memory. Full, they'll, they'll, and they'll yep. have their, yeah. full, their full... Uh, oh, uh, they'll have entourage. their football player? Yeah, the, the 48, number 48 will be back. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. yeah. He, he, he was on a on a national team call-up. He, he should be, pl- yeah. he should yeah. be playing for the Seahawks, yeah. that guy. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> but, you know, we're going we're gonna to be prepared and ready for them. And, That's good. Uh, it's going to be another good match. It is, yeah. It's going to be another good match. Yeah, I'm excited. It was a little bit rough. I was here... Because we always come here to watch the games, mm-hmm. and with the lightning delay you guys had on, uh, on, on Saturday, on Saturday yeah. it was rough. Because I'm sitting out here, and I'm doing my phone, and I'm watching the TV, and I'm like this, and and it was like Lamar scored, and I'm like, yeah. oh crap, now I lost here, and now I'm <laughs> like, so, like, so that was the hardest thing to do so far to, to kind of split the yeah, both yeah, of them. Yeah, but yeah. but we, did, we 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 all tried, yeah. we all tried our best. We did. Let me ask you some thinking about uh, the road trip to Oklahoma. And you've been to some of the biggest stages of soccer in the world. Uh, how have you seen the MLS progress? And, and, and can you touch a little bit into how you can see a little bit of the pro, uh, of what the USL is doing in, in cities like OKC? Like how their stadium looked. It looked pretty good. Like yes, it looked yeah, like a nice a, stadium. Well, Tulsa had forty five hundred, right? Yeah, Tulsa was had a lot of people. But yeah. that was a, that's a baseball stadium that they right. play. You know, they uh, turn okay. out, yeah. outfield into the soccer pitch. But that OKC, like, they have like, like a big Portland. screen. I think oh, OKC, OKC had a that's big a screen. That's, yeah, yeah, that is a soccer. They had a big screen. Like, yeah, in, uh, wow. Tinto, Rio Tinto. And yeah. OKC, so, like, man. Yeah, and they like. What's the progression of soccer since you started in the MLS, you know, in the mid '90s to oh, to now? Like it's been huge. I think OKC had upwards of six thousand people. Wow. In their game. Uh, wow. That's uh, incredible. Jeez. That was the opening of that that stadium. It's okay. an old stadium that they renovated. Okay. Wow. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. They're in OKC. Yep. They renovated, but it's it's beautiful. Wow. I yeah. took a picture of it when I when we first came in, and so yeah, but soccer has just grown tremendously. I mean, since I started playing, because I played in the old USL. Okay. Uh, I played in, oh, New, oh. in New Orleans. Okay, New Orleans. Really? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Before, um, when I just came out of college in '94, '95, in '95, '96, I played in the USL, and it's it's grown tremendously, tremendously. Nice. It's it's soccer's catching on, and yeah. it's we still have a long ways to go, but okay. you know I think the the quality of the MLS improving has helped. You know, yeah. Yeah. Helped yep. the sport I, a lot, and so. We, we look forward to it continuing to grow and, and, and getting better, you know? Good. Uh, uh, another question here. Um, do you think the roster's locked where we are, or is there, is there room for growth on the roster or as change? As two, S2, or? S2. It's not locked. Okay. No. Now, if someone, you know, if an agent sends us a player, you know, because people send us video sure. clips of their players all the time. Right. You know, and if someone we look at is decent, yep. very good player, whatever, and we bring him in, and he meshes, and he, he you know he performs well in, in training, then we'll be willing to sign. Okay. Uh, we have not locked. You know, we're allowed 30 um, roster spots for the right. USL team. For the USL team. Wow. Now we're not gonna have. No, 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 no. <laughs> spots, yeah, but yeah, yeah. if someone comes in and it's just like, whoa, whoa. you gotta sign this guy. Yeah, yeah. we we'll sign him. No, okay. we're not. We're not uh, opposed to adding players okay. at all, okay. uh, but you know it's going to take a lot of quality because you know we have okay. good players and we have enough yeah. Yeah. players to form the team. Mm-hmm. So you know we're not just going to add players just to be adding anybody. players. Right. It's going to hit Now, if we have a rash of injuries, you know, God forbid, then we'll have to you know add some people. But sure. right sure. now, if you knock us off our feet, then yeah, for sure we. Yeah. yeah, I do. Okay. We, we, we've got a lot of people sitting in the room right now that don't have names. I, I bet you one of them's your boss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so what's it like working for Andrew? How's, uh, how's he as a general manager? How's he as a, as a, uh, <laughs> you know. Why is, it, why is everyone laughing? No, no, it's just it's a great question. The way you <laughs> raised it. It's like, you like well, your boss. Yeah. You like your boss. <laughs> no, no, no. Andrew, Andrew has done extremely well yeah, yeah. Yep. and that wardrobe 
<laughs> Damn. He's slick. He is a sexy dude. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I'll let you come in on, right. on, on his level on of sexiness. sexiness. <laughs> but, uh, I'm okay no, with that. But uh, seriously speaking, you know, he's from day one. You know, he, it's, this is his this is his baby. Yeah, this absolutely. is his thing. And yep. he's done a really good job. You know, he's, he's always there. He's always asking, do you need anything? What can we do better? Yep. Et cetera, et cetera. So it's... it's it's been very easy to work with him, you know. Okay. When uh, my interview for the job was, we, we were at a Starbucks or one of the coffee shops or something. We just sat down and casually <laughs> did the interview and stuff, you know. Sounds, so sounds like my interview. I know sounds, exactly. I know mine too. <laughs> similar here. <laughs> so he's a very, you know, he's a very laid back guy. He's yeah. very easy to work with, and you know, he's not the type of GM that's constantly trying to tell you what to do, okay. what team to put on the field. You know what I mean? He's he just he trusts you. And he has confidence in you, and he just let you do your work, which we appreciate. You know, sure. the, the staff and myself, we, we appreciate that a lot. So he's been very good for us, very good for us. That's great. And, and, and I think we would agree so far. I mean, the, the whole relationship, we've had some, some communication with yeah. him, and he's, yeah. he's been really honest and up and forthright, yeah. and, you know, and, and coming on our show, doing that conversation, and then post yeah. at that as well, yeah. as we kind of look to figure out how do we fit in here. Because one of the things we've always lo- wanted to do is talk more and bring – the fun to soccer and just yeah, kind of yeah. have people have fun. I mean, as you can tell, we're here having a drink. Yeah, we're yeah, relaxing. I like people this. here. This it's, it's, fun. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. This it's is fun. very Caribbean. This is very yeah. Oh, all right, there That's we go. About, I like Let's that. Go. I like that. It's and really, I agree, man. It's really, like home, we call this Lyman. Lyman. Yeah. Yeah. You just like your Lyman. 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 It's hanging it's out. Chilling. We're Lyman. Yeah. Yeah. Chilling. Just, Lyman. With the fellas, Lyman. Lyman. All right. Ah. So, so we lost one of our U streamers, so Andrew dropped off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said Huff and ran away. No. And, uh, and I, I got to ask, um, you know, we don't we don't get to see Siggy on a, on a very personal level because Siggy's kind of a pretty private, qua- private guy. He, right. Yes. Um, what was it like to work for Siggy? It was good. You know, Siggy, he's a very... Meticulous guy. He, I mean, I've never played or worked with a coach that is so particular about preparation. And that's why I think he's been so successful in tournaments. Right. You know, you tell Ziggy you're playing that team next week, he will have you ready to play that team. You know, he's, he's very good at that. And his, he, he's a, a, a soccer junkie, man. You know, <laughs> Ziggy sends us, when I was a, a, an assistant coach, he would send you emails at 2 o'clock. You know, maybe he's up watching the game and he wants you to look at something. You know, he wants to talk about something, stuff like that. And that's the kind of guy he is. Yeah, you know, okay. He's, he, he, oh, he's kind of like Aaron. He eats, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he eats, sleeps, and breathes soccer, you know, and that's why he's been so successful. That's great. Because he, he's he's very, very into, you know, in the soccer. And, it's, and maybe it's not so much he's a private guy, but maybe he's, he's just so, so much focused. So focused. focused. Yeah, he's so focused yeah. into it because, yeah. you know, he's a fun guy. You know, he's, you know, he's Ziggy, you know, he's... Yeah. He, we don't get to see the softer side of Siggy, you know. I mean, we right. see him game day prep and or at, at yeah. practice right, right. where he's where he's focused. Yeah, he's German. Yeah, he's very German. Yeah. Yeah. Com- yeah. Compared, to where he's, and, uh, he's, he's more German than normal. Yeah. How about Coach Schmetzer? What's what's he uh, uh, coaching with him and, and being alongside with him? What's he like? He he's is, probably the biggest prankster, actually. Well, he is an intense. Is he really that intense? Really? He's, okay. He's. I would, I would have loved to have played for, for Smetzer. Yeah. I mean, because he, he, he just is very intense. He will get you pumped and ready to kick some ass. Fire. Games, Let's go. He's, he's we, we just say Smetzer to Hugo, and he goes on a diet. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, no, seriously. He, he's a very but yeah. very good guy. Very uh, yeah. loyal guy. You know, he's a guy that... He, well, it, for us, for yeah. us, you know, we're, we're just a small little podcast doing, having fun, whatever. Yeah. And he was watching our show and commenting to us, uh, sometimes personally and sometimes, or in, in public, when he, when he sometimes you, right? private. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. Or even like he would DM us or whatever, email us, and yeah. it was like, it's like, God, he actually watched it because he actually <laughs> wow. knew, yeah. like he's, we were talking about. We were like, like what did we say that? Man, I exactly. tell you, that's, yeah. that's a guy you, you want in your corner. You yeah. Know? Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's a good guy. He's a very loyal guy. Yeah. He's, and, but he's very, you know. Straightforward. When it comes to Which game time, it's like yeah, and just in like everyday life, he he'll tell you exactly what he feels. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's not gonna beat around the bush. Yeah. You know, and you know, you might not agree with him sometimes, but sure. At least you know that's from his heart. Yeah. He's yeah. telling you exactly how he feels, and you know, take it or leave it. You know, but and I like that about him because you know, at the end of the day, I don't mean to sound cliche, but honesty is the best policy. Sure. And, that's what we do. That's the kind of guy. Yeah. He that's, is. Yeah. that's our that's <laughs> yeah, our yeah. I mean, we've, yep. we everything you've talked about tonight is kind of like. 
one of our cores of, of the show and our friendship and everything. It is, We're man. brutally honest. In it's all, these guys it's are. It's being real. It's all about being yeah. real. You know, it's me, 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 maybe more than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's true. Okay. Um, another question here. Um, will you guys be watching the U23 players at all? So not so they're the uh, from uh, the uh, Sounders U23. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to make some of those games. Okay. And, you know, I, I I talk to Darren, Darren probably yeah. every week. <laughs> you know, okay. so, you know, if, if he'll, let, he'll let us know if there's someone there. And that we've we talked really about, okay. you know, some even before everyone comes in camp, yep. you know, bringing some of his guys into it. Okay. training with us when right. we need players and stuff like that so okay. we, ha we have a good relationship there as far as that goes so uh, uh one of the friends of the show actually was our first non or our first soccer related guest was uh, dom dismuke who yeah. played for the the, the yeah. academy and is now playing at uw, UW. yeah yep. um he he, yeah, he joined us yesterday last, in, in, night. The booth, last yeah. night in the booth at the fc tacoma game kind of mm -hmm. give him get, get him some mic time yeah. to kind of yeah. get, get him you know get, get, get the, the the soccer players view yep. on the game and uh, we, t we asked him, or one of the people in the audience, and asked him about his, his summer plans. And he said that he's, you know, thinking about different things. Is that something, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of half begging for him, but not, not really, yeah. not really. But is that something that, like, the ex-players like that would have an opportunity to kind of maybe train with you guys over the summer and that stuff? Or is it different now than it was with the reserves as it is now with S2? You know, there's some NCAA rules. Okay. As far as those, that because goes. Of the, because, it's because of the payments? Uh, yeah, because, you because guys he's are playing professional. professionals. Right. Um, yeah. I'm not particular. Yeah. I know uh, maybe a month ago, a few weeks ago, yeah. we had to stop letting some guys because there's a period yeah. when the NCAA allows them yeah. to sense. train. Yep. Right. And uh, there's a period where they can't. Okay. I'm not sure the exact dates of those. So yeah, sure. we have to take all that into consideration. Right. But we have people within the Sounders organization that is up on compliance. They're focused, yeah. They <laughs> know about that stuff, so yeah. they'll let us know. Yeah. Okay. When and where, but it, it, you know, any academy or former academy kid that we could bring in and yep. and and train and and you know continue to develop, we as long as it's not a it's NCAA awesome. rule right. and it doesn't you know interfere with their school yep. or whatever, yep. then for sure we bring yep. them in. Nice. We bring them in for That's sure. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Excellent. So so what's it, the rumor about uh, S two moving to uh, Stanford for for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> um, so 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 Jordan can actually train with us too. How about we just grab that guy and just bring him in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jordan, you have been kidnapped. <laughs> he's he's yeah. something special. Yes, yes, we very, all knew that. Very but very talented player. Geez. Very. Talented I might be the player. only one that was not as happy as everybody else, but yeah, he's he's got talent. And he's gonna beat Mexico you, for the second time. Well, no, you, no. Well, well, hang hang on a second. No, did you, did you guys? Did anybody happen to hear Alexi Lawless's rant on Jordan Morris? No. Yeah. Actually, his was not. Taylor Twelman, both both of them, Taylor and um, yeah, and basically, I missed that. basically, uh, Alexi was a little bit more politically correct about it. Basically, saying, "What are you going to be able to do next? You know, you've been put on the biggest stage for the U.S. in soccer. You just scored a goal. What's the next thing you can do?" Kind of thing, mm -hmm. or are you just going to be, you know, one time, a one time, and they go were asking him this, or they were just they were, they were just talking after oh, the game, yeah. Okay. Uh, Alexi Lawless uh, during the broadcast was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah yesterday. during Portland, the Portland, oh, Portland game. game yeah. yesterday, yes. So he was talking during halftime. I so. couldn't watch it because I don't have FS2. Oh. Oh yeah, that was. Or or, ML. Uh, ML5. ML5. I didn't buy ML5 this year. I'm sorry. You know, sorry. I, fast points. You can get it. Whatever. You want to hold? You know, I just no, thought I was. Home. I was mad because why did U.S. Soccer and MLS? Now I'm gonna rant for a second. Why did they let Fox get it? Fox because is terrible. Fox offered them the most money. money. I don't it's care. All that money. It's terrible. It's all money. No, Sorry. Say but money talks and yeah, something else. Yeah, pretty walk, much. Right? That, would be, that, would, that would be bullshit. Coach. That would be yeah. fucking <laughs> on. Talking about oh, the U.S. Hey, and uh, Mexico I'm match, I wanted to ask you some about uh, one of the Mexican players Dose with the Sounders, uh, Pineda. Pineda. Do you think he'd make a good coach or like how do you? Oh, jeez. So. Yeah, like so. I have this dream. That he'll play with us for two more years at least, and then is he getting artificial knees soon? And <laughs> dude, I'm sorry, stop. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep and, going. and then he will <laughs> join the staff. The we're going in together. Listen, Pineda currently is he's like an extension to the coaching staff. Yeah, you will see him out there at training, helping the young players after, you know, during training, teaching the Kovars, the Darwins, guys like that about different you know yep. aspects of the game and stuff like that. So he's 
you know, already like an extension to the coaching staff and you know, kind of like Jimmy Traore was mm. yep. last year, yep. you know, helping yep. out guys and stuff like that. So it's, 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 he's a great guy, man. Great guy and good, good soccer player. You know, he's, yeah. he's an older guy, but you know, he's still, he still can do the job. You he know, still still I'm, I'm joking. You I know, know you better take it back. Time, but, but <laughs> I mean, he really is. He's been awesome. He's Dude, been he's incredible. Good. Last yeah. year when, you know, I'm a family man, I've got two kids and I'm a big family guy and driving home from the stadium after he featured in that opener, uh, would you like a drink at all? Or are you good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, Let's go. I'm, I'm you Caribbean, remember? Coach, there you go, Coach. <laughs> yeah. All right, here you go, Coach. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. no go no, ahead. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll get more. Don't worry. Hold it. We'll get some. I'll get more. Yeah, no. Good. We'll get one. Um, he watched it driving home that day and listening to him talk and then going home and rewatching it. He was crying how excited he was coming off his injury and everything. He's I love him. So I give you a hard yeah, time because yeah, I know. I mean, I have oh, to because you're my brother. Well, but, yeah. has always ch- but, but, but you guys are brother from another brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. No, but but it's, he's going to be he's awesome. Huge, his, he was yes. great on the Fox yeah. soccer, too. I mean, I yeah. will say I, I didn't. I, so I always saw him. I didn't hear him. Oh, I did see man. him. We only and saw I, part I really of it, hope that the younger players like Correa, you know, get a chance to pick his brain there because he he is like we had him. So I'm a part of La Barra Forza Verde. So we're the Spanish a subgroup of ECS, the Latino which subgroup, is, which is La Barra Fuerza Barra, Verde. Yeah. And uh, he came out to a, a, a kids' tournament. Thank you. We had a kids' tournament that uh, that all the money that we do, selling some of the shirts and gear we do, we always give back to the community. So so we we had a tournament uh, here at Rainier, and he came down to talk to the kids. And, man, the, the things he was saying, it was it was very proper. His The way he carries himself is his, his, his class, and he's saying, hey, Yes, you know, work hard, try to make it in soccer, but just the reality is, you know, very few players are going to be able to make it to this level, so you got to make sure you guys study. Yeah. It was giving that message, yeah. but, man, he's just... Did he do it in Spanish? He did. Oh, yeah, Spanish, because the, the, the majority of the teams oh, were Spanish-speaking. Spanish. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, I'd love to see him yeah. on the staff. Very so. good guy. Very good guy. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and, and, I, and I have to ask, um, Brad, Brad Evans, who, um, you know, he's, he's a fan favorite. Everybody loves him, except for me. Um, <laughs> I, I think Brad is is a has a lot of talent, um, but <laughs> have a drink, yeah. Have a drink, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, for some reason, even though Siggy loves him, he doesn't always fit in with the other players on the field. Do you, have you ever noticed that about Brad? That Brad doesn't fit in with the players. I I don't know. I don't. What? Why, why do you think that? Because he just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's mute. Let's mute. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. No, let's, let's be open. No, let's, yeah, let's, exactly. Let's talk Brad, about this. Can, can I just real quick? Yeah. Like I, I opened up about my my Siggy out comment yeah, in yeah. Portland. You've been a Brad out fan for ever. ever. No, actually, I think Brad's going to make a great coach. I think he's an awesome guy. Yeah. I just don't like his play style. Yeah, you've never liked him, no matter what no. position he's been in. No, he, doesn't he, matter. He, he, you've never so been it a fan. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Center back, right it doesn't matter. Right no, it has, this Le- has left, left out. <laughs> left out. He is never. Yeah, it's it's the funniest thing because you know, Brad has moments where we we named he, our car. Hold on. When we drove to Salt Lake City, we named our car the first year Brad Decisions. You know, it's kind of a joke of like of bad we're going to make bad. But but it wasn't necessarily a slam on him. It was that we were going to make bad decisions. <laughs> yeah. But you have always felt that he's had. Yeah, you know, he's just, well, I always felt he was inconsistent for one, Um, you know. You know, Brad was maybe one or two cuts away from being on the World Cup team. I I realize that. I realize that. I mean, there's something there. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, I'm I'm not doubting that. It just seems to me like at times he feels like a, shut up, Hugo. (laughs) (laughs) I'm watching this. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's, 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 People that feel no, no, you know, I've heard that a lot of uh, a lot of people. Sim- not not a lot, but some people say he's One. he's really really good at a lot of the things that he does. Yeah, he's just not great. At that's a good way to put it. He's he, he's, he's a not, master of a lot. I'm sorry, he's a he's a uh, jack of jack, uh, jack of all trade, yeah. master, master of none. none. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. very utilitarian. But I you guess. need a, a utilitarian. Player. You know exactly. He, and he's a versatile player. Yes, also. and you know every player has a role. On that team, that's right. You know, and and sure, he has a big role. Oh, he's, I, I, you could sort of think of him as the glue. Sure, you know, I, he he's a big part of of what goes on. Oh, I, and I realize that. 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 I, I think as long as Marshall's with him in the back, <laughs> as long as he, he has will, somebody with him, well, someone that has that that experience, you know, because he's obviously he hasn't played that position in a long time. But I think he'll end up playing and being one of the the 
the better uh, defenders in the back line of uh, of the MLS. I think it wouldn't surprise me if he, if he becomes a really top-notch defender because of the quality of you know Marshall being there with him. Okay. Like you said, he's a great. He's going to be a great coach, but he's able to pick up a lot real quick. So. I, I, and I and I guarantee he's great in the locker room. He's, he's great. Great personality, everything about him. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any any ill will towards the guy. I just my I just his play style for me just doesn't do it. And, yeah. I, I, and yeah. that, that's that's fair yeah. enough. I mean, yeah, I, so. I, I like Brad. I mean, I think you know there are times in I, what I like is that they're giving him a chance as, as a center back to kind of yeah. build, get into it and, and get comfortable back there. But I, I've always enjoyed watching Brad. I mean, there are times yeah. I've had the moments of like ah. But you do that with every player. Yeah. Well, he's you know he's learning on the job right now. Sure. I mean, he's a player that's you know in his what sixth or seventh, eighth maybe yeah. even year, and yeah. yep. now having to learn a, a new position. Absolutely. Sure. I think yep. he lost a lot. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Brad, this, this one just died on me. Would you, would you would you would you mind putting that one over for me? You know, if our light guy would do some work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it on these guys. That's all that matters. Yeah, good we're call. Fine. Good call. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. That's better. Okay, there we go. We'll be all like this. <laughs> so, um, the but yeah, so it's it's an interesting thing as we go. Yeah, there you go. As we go through that whole, we all have our favorite players. Like I love Oba. I'm I'm an Oba like. So you like, you like that goal last weekend? Oh God, it was <laughs> unbelievable. But I've liked him from the minute when he flew over and came into town just for that meet and greet basically to play yeah. in that few minutes this guy started the Oba Thighs hashtag his thighs are ridiculous <laughs> right here Oba Thighs I'm sorry I'm happily married I'm whatever I'm not, I'm not but I'm just, his thighs are amazing you're secure in your sexuality I am <laughs> I very much I am <laughs> and he's like he's they're wow. like I've met a lot of the players now over the last couple of years because that's one of the great things because he stalks soccer. them well that's yeah. that too but he's one that I would love Except to for one. sit down and talk to him like but I probably wouldn't be able to talk I heard stalking. Oh. <laughs> Marshall. I heard yeah, stalking channel. is not illegal in Seattle. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you and Kyle are okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just tell, tell Kyle to stay for my S2 kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so poor Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. I threw you. I totally so, threw you under the bus. Are you still good on time for a few more minutes? Yeah, no, I'm okay. fine. I'm fine. I live like five minutes seriously. Okay, great. Okay, good. So, so this um, is awesome. This is awesome. We got a couple more questions here. Uh -huh. This one, this is an important one. Is the S2 PA announcer the best oh, you... PA announcer? You don't have to answer that, Coach. Oh, you complete the fifth. Okay, good. Definitely. He's, okay. he's awesome. Best ever. Okay, good. I'll send you the check tomorrow, Coach. I'll send you the check tomorrow. I, that was not my question. Well, you know, you could have just you said his think name wrong. Back there, the one with no soul in the back there. <laughs> Oh, the ginger? Yeah, ginger. Yeah, um, he's gonna get better every match. He's just like the just like the guys on the pitch. He's you know he's always yeah. working hard, putting in time you know to get better. I agree, you are. So you, no, hey, listen. Uh, in the first one, I told you this. I'm he's just gonna make. He's gonna make sure he doesn't yell "goal" in Ziggy's ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about that? Yeah, yeah, I just let him know. Pass the word. You know, I apologize if he his looks ears are straight ringing. up at you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was, yeah. It was hilarious. But man, but I can't hopefully help it. He says it. Four or five times every, uh, every, game. every game. Every game, yeah. Right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> the more, the merrier. Yeah. So, what, what, what boots did you wear when you were a, uh, a player? Oh, we know who's asking that one. Yeah, yes. that's Kyle as well. Kyle's a very much. Man, the boots extraordinaire. You, <laughs> he likes. I'm going to give my age up if I tell you this. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> but um, there was only Puma. two kinds back then: <laughs> <laughs> white and black. Puma, and Puma kings. Puma kings. Puma kings. Puma yeah. king. Back in the days. I love me some Puma Kings. Puma Kings. And then, obviously, uh, everyone wore Copas. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But Puma Kings were my original. Okay. All right. Good. Who was your favorite player as a kid? Me. Wow. Your idol growing up. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. Jeez. No pressure. As far as, for legendary-wise, Pele, obviously. Pele, okay. But growing up, like, who I was watching. Yeah. Play, I mean, oh, man. <coughs> There's so many. I like Cafu. 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 Okay. Yeah, the Brazilian right yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's back good. Days, he was. Okay. I liked him a lot. And did anybody uh, use that name? Cafu. Yeah. Before or what was the player who uh, uh, Campos used to mention or some of the players when you played in L.A. 
Hugo just making your nickname. things up now. No, they they used to call you. Oh, Kanu. 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 That's right. From, um, uh, Arsenal, Nigerian player. Okay. He. Uh, no, I used to have these little. You know, I'm Caribbean. I have yeah. a little dreadlocks. Ah, yeah. And so, and Kanu did at the time. So they used to call me Kanu. Uh, Mauricio Cienfuegos, El Salvadorian uh, player who played in, get with the Galaxy for a number of years. Yeah. Very good player. Miniature in size, but very good. He, you know, he kind of put St that name started on it. Started it out there. Out. Nice. Well, Kanu, Kanu, Kanu. Kanu. Pas, pass me the ball, Kanu, pass me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyle says Puma Kings are classic and they still make them. Yes, so they, they still do. make them. So actually, they still do. So now, you see, I'm not that old. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> it's funny because Kyle will like. I'll say, look at that. I, I put a picture of my daughter plays. Just, just wreck. And I put a picture of her, of her new boots up that I bought her this year. And Kyle like, and yeah. I just put like the front of them, yeah. not even like the sides or the backs or anything. And he's like, oh yeah, that's the. I don't even know what they were. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> yeah, but we he, still to this day. But he's like, he knew exactly yeah. what they were. The guy is like, the most knowledgeable what? boots guy that I've ever met. So, we're, we're, on the, we're on the pitch watching him, and he goes, oh yeah, he's wearing these and these and these and these and these. <laughs> yeah, we won't remember, like I said, we won't remember their numbers. Yeah. Kyle, remember Kyle's the fine. He's, he doesn't want to hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's all guy. good. He's all good. Yeah. But your daughter, your daughter plays. She does, and my son just started too. So. Yeah, I, I you gotta teach me the secret, man. I have two daughters. Okay, you know uh, you know what it is. What is you it? You kick them out on the field and you say you play or you don't come <laughs> well, home. The no. young one, she's four years old. And okay. Oh, so you got I think she, time. I think she's gonna play, but yep. I have a ten year old that she didn't play at all. No, she was. doesn't. No, nope. that's not our thing. You know, she wants to be more of a cheerleader. More yeah, my daughter. Oh, so my daughter did the gymnastics, the gymnastics, cheerleading, and, and then, and then, and then went into the and then went in, went into soccer and oh. stuck with it. And she's actually she a goalie. It? She's a goalie. Yeah. She loves you know, playing goalie. I always said though, I would never force my kids into no. playing soccer because I play. Yeah. They love like they love like being at the games yeah. and yep. cheering for daddy and stuff like that. Yeah. But I think the little one, she might end up playing. Yep. But I, I think I've lost hope. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Okay. So as kids my like five-year-old, yeah. my five-year-old's playing U five, yeah. right? And and oh my god, I love my son, but. Like watching him play, <laughs> he's like me, but five, right? So he's off there running in circles, he's running and he's talking to people, and you know, the ball's over there. He's a social butterfly, and I'm like, that's me, damn it! <laughs> like, it's not. I need you to be like. I need you to be you need because he's Dempsey, right? He loves Dempsey. He's number two. He's been number two in both seasons so far. If he sees a number two anywhere, he's like deuce. And it's all he talks about, and uh, so he's funny about it. But yeah, he's just when the game starts, he's like. Off in La La Land, you know. I, I had a cousin that... In a good way, I guess. Younger than me that... He, every... Like, U5, U6... Mm -hmm. He would always go the wrong way on the field. He would dribble everyone, really. but yeah. he'd be dribbling going the through the wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong goal. And we should be all like, dude, you're going... You're killing us. You're killing you're us, killing man. You're going the wrong way. And if you get down there and you have to dribble all the way back, and stuff, it's awesome. You're so excited. Like, but yeah, I'm yeah, breaking away. Yeah, that, being a very good you know, college player yeah. and stuff. Didn't oh, go on nice. to play professionally. Yeah. So there's hope for your son. <laughs> well, and, and to yeah. be honest with you, for me, you know, of course, if they pro, whatever, I'll support them, whatever. But yeah. it's what I've told my kids is I want them to have, you know, a one community thing, one one mental thing, and one sport thing. And so, you know, with, for my my son, just get into it. My daughter, she's doing Lego robots, and she's doing Girl Scouts, and she's playing soccer. She's going to try out for, for Select. Oh, that reminds she, she us. She decided to try out for Select. The other year. question. But I'm like, ah. Uh, you know? No, we don't need yeah, to ask that do? one. So. Dude, he brought it so, up. What? He did bring it Girl up. Scouts. Oh, this is an important question too. Big all over Twitter. Everybody uh -oh. gets asked this, man. And okay. Uh, you you could gain major followers here, depending on or who you lose do. major followers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I'll assure you, Pablito gain. He had a correct answer, Pablito, but. Well, we'll let these guys ask because, you know, the cookies are... So my daughter's a Girl Scout. She sells Girl Scout cookies. It's one of her things, and I'm a big supporter of it. In fact, ECS uh, is a big supporter of my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> um, are you a Team Samoa? Are you a Team Thin Mints? Team Tagalong? Do you, do you have a favorite Girl What's Scout cookie? What's your favorite cookie? Girl Scout cookie? Tagalongs have the coconut. I'm just going to throw no, it out they there. Don't. Samoa no, that's Samoa. Or Samoa. Samoa. Just kidding. I was just testing Tagalongs you. have to be Tagalongs. The peanut butter chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> but hold on, hold on. Are you sure? Yes. I mean, yeah. being from the Caribbean, coconut is not a. I like, I like the ones. Oh, the ones. wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Team Tagalong. <laughs> I, just, uh, I just bought a box from uh, Zach Scott, his daughter. Oh, he was also? selling for his daughter. Uh -huh. 
I just got a box. Tag along. In the freezer? The tag alongs in the freezer are actually ridiculously awesome. Mm. I've been told really I'm good. never allowed to buy a Girl Scout cookie again. Oh, really? <laughs> why, why, why is that? Buy, uh, why bought, is that? Because he bought 300 boxes one night. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. No, he really did. Yeah, he did. He really 300 did. boxes. 300 boxes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. For, he, and he donated to the charity, which I should have an answer on Tuesday, by the way. Okay. Isn't that like $1,200? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So I, I put out. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. yes, it is back there. That's his wife. His wife's like, yes, 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 it is. He's got a guaranteed contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put a Twitter out there saying I will never, I won't talk about cookies on Twitter for until next year because people were complaining about how much I was talking about it. And I'm like, well, hit hit unfollow because I know a lot of them do. That's fine. And then this guy out of the blue goes. How many do you, how many do you have left? And I said, "Why well, 300 is my tweet." And he goes, "Done." <laughs> and I jokingly picked it up and ran with it and said, "Ha ha ha! Lee bought them out. You guys are all screwed out of luck." And <laughs> and, I'm, and I texted him, like, "Are you serious?" He's like, "Yeah." And this wow. is after this is after he had quit drinking. So I was like, "Well, you're not drunk because you're not drinking." <laughs> so, so what um, what did you do with him? Well, the girls, uh, I the girls, my this is, is my daughter's trip. Yeah. He said, "Donate them to charity." Donate them to charity. charity. Go, so go, go to a homeless. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they've picked out two or three, and they're going to narrow it down. But what, what, what's going to end up being is going to be a a, a, a women's uh, a, a shelter that handles with, uh, women and children. Okay. Uh, the homeless shelter as well, and then they also because the girls love the zoo and everything like that. They're going to all the all the volunteers who who work at the zoo, unpaid, are going to also get some as well. Okay. So it's going to be those are the three, and I'm trying to narrow get them to like because they're going to write him a nice letter. As well as give you a receipt for tax purposes. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. But then it, it helped my daughter and some of the other girls in the troop. Uh, go, my daughter's going to be able to go to camp for a week uh, this summer and spend the entire week as a it's, it's, it's a hiking kayaking camp. So good. Where they go three to four miles a day hiking. Good. I'll tell her all about my experiences kayaking and hiking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, Not doing you. you don't get to go doing fundraisers <laughs> and giving back to the community. Some that you know uh, here at Sonar, even though we are small, this is just us hanging out uh, with the help of all our friends here. Yes. We do a lot. Uh, uh, we've grown our FIFA tournament uh, from something that was just like ten people uh, three years ago to one of like probably the biggest FIFA tournaments here in the state. I would say I haven't it's checked, but big. But we raised ten thousand dollars for Lamar Nagels Foundation uh, okay. in January, and That's we good. the first That's year good. was. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah. And the second year was twenty two hundred dollars, yeah. and then we wow. went to ten thousand. So you are formally nice invited good. to the FIFA tournament this December. You, uh, he's, well, he's in. You guys are. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a no, no. What time in December? Though? Well, it'll be. Well, th uh, this year we did it actually January fourth, right after the first of the year. Okay. We'll yeah. let you know, but if you're if you're gone, that's we'll know. You, yeah. You, yeah. 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 Don't you'll worry. About January fourth, I'm I'm down in. Uh, you're, you're yeah. Scouting. No, well, I'm scouting. Oh, okay. Okay. Scouting. Yeah. On the beach. Oh, the beach. No, 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 no. I'm back already, and I'm in Florida doing uh, scouting. Okay. Oh, scouting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because I do a combine before the MLS combine. Oh, okay. Very oh, nice. nice. That's great. All right, so we're coming up here. Do you guys have any last questions in the audience here? Yeah, Maybe. I think it's I think it's time. I have a couple questions. Okay, a couple questions. Um, question time. You played in a lot of stadiums. Mm-hmm. Oh, great question. A lot yep. of stadiums. Favorite. favorite stadium. My favorite stadium. To watch him play. To play probably was the Rose Bowl. Where at? The Rose, Rose Bowl. Bowl. The Rose, Rose Bowl. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, with the Galaxy. We used to play there before they, yeah. had, before yeah. they moved to Carson. Which one was the second? <laughs> not uh, Azteca. Not yeah. Azteca. Let him answer. You know what? Azteca Let him was, answer. It was, Azteca was nice to play in, but it was hard to play in. How you know, come? with that uh, altitude like, and uh, just, uh, it, it was very difficult. I mean, all those people throwing pee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> yeah, really. You're really not Donovan. <laughs> you're not Donovan. You're okay. Um, so that was my favorite place to play and to watch a game. Wow. I have to think about that one. <laughs> well, I, I'm just now starting to watch games there. You know, I'm, I'm working those games, you know, so I don't consider that watching. But I, ju I watched a couple games now um, from the suite, though, so I don't really get those. The yeah, li like life sucks. <laughs> yeah, you know. If I, yeah, if I want to come down. We should get you an easy ass for one of the games. Yeah, yeah. with La Barra. Yeah. With Juan 21. Yeah. I'll, I'll get you the flags going, man. Don't worry. I, I do have another question. Okay. Uh -huh. Porto or Bayern? Ooh. 
Ooh, Porto or I'm Byron? I'm a big for the Champions Pep League. fan, so I have to go with Bayern. You can leave now. But I'm a big Pep. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Porto fan? I am. Are you really? Uh, Are you a card carrying yeah. member? I don't know that I knew that actually. Yeah. Oh wow. You know my, my team though my is family's Arsenal. From Porto. Arsenal is my team. I don't know if I knew that or not. <laughs> so, but I'm, I like Pep. I like his coach. I watch a lot of his coaching stuff, and it's gonna be tough. Yeah, it will be. But he's gonna. I Porto won well. two one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Porto yeah. did. Yeah. At wow. home though, right? Two to one at, at home. home. Yeah. yeah. At Bayern. At Bayern. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that reminds Why? me. What? Uh, Montreal and... Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good question here. The fitness guy is gone. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave right. Tenney, watch out. <laughs> so, what do you think about uh, the finals here coming up with Montreal versus Club, Club America? America. Tomorrow, uh, Wednesday night, huh? Wednesday night. It's the first yeah. Oh, well, I mean, being from MLS, I have to root for Montreal. Yep. Uh, but but since a Canadian team can't do anything, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's where. No, I, I obviously I have to root for Montreal. I mean, but I think Montreal. I mean, it's a good team though. What I like about Chetty them is Cooper. Yep. What I like about them is they they don't fear. Uh, yeah, Montreal. They anything, got nothing to know, lose. Yeah, they have nothing to lose. I mean, everyone expects guys, Club so America to win this, yep. and so. You know, it, the pressure's on them, not Montreal. You know, aside from one good game in the last month, Club America has struggled a lot in, in the Liga MX. Yeah, they yeah. usually lost 4-0 to zero at home. So yeah. they might not be able to pull it off, which since I'm from uh, Chivas from Guadalajara fan well, here. I think I'm if... kind of okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Costa Rican team beat them 3 uh, nothing yeah. at their place. If Montreal could, you know, win 3 nothing, Actually, it's at Club America first, right? The first leg? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, it's there first. So, you know, go play for the tie, you know, come out exactly. with a tie and then yes. come home and who knows what can happen. It'd be nice to see an MLS team. I would love you know, it. I would like it, the Sounders to be you know? the first one, but at the same point, I'd yeah. like an MLS team because Canadian teams only count half, so it's not really. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really. <laughs> Asterisk. Really, yeah. All right, so we're at 9.15, 9.20. We're going to wrap up here. We could go all night, but oh, we want to yeah. respect your time. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. Even though he's, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, Coach, uh, so do you guys have any last comments you guys want to bring up? No. No? Thank you. Thank you, Coach. It's yeah, really well, great. you know, I want to thank you guys. I mean, oh, yeah. anytime you guys want to have me on, I'm oh. like I said, I'm five minutes away. All right, so uh, well, next, we've next had, Monday. Yeah, next, yeah, <laughs> we've already had about ten people say, yeah, so if you have a permanent We'll call seat, Coach yeah. Ezra hour. Yeah. Coach Ezra. <laughs> no, Once a month. Seriously, anytime you guys want me to come and, oh, we'd love you it. know, we love it. talk about S2, yeah. the first team. Yeah. Well, we'd like you, you know, to put a, like a, a bug Azteca. in a, uh, Coach Metter's ear. Um, right. He needs to come onto the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he's kind you of know like what? Our... He'd be a great guy to have on. Oh, him. my God. Yeah. 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 See, yeah. Coach? Yeah. Talk about an original sounder that can yeah. give you some insight as to how it all started. You know, back how in the days. How it all started. And, yeah. 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 That would be he'd, be, he'd be perfect. He would yeah. be. I'll talk to him tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, right, that's it. Woohoo! Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh yeah! Thank you for coming out. You were thank yeah. You. Thank you guys for having above me. Above and beyond. Yes. Above and beyond the best guests. Yes. Yeah. Seriously. So thank you. So much. For having me, thank you. All right, boys and girls. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Thank you so much. Rock all right, out. we're gonna go out to Taylor Twelman here. Bye. You're watching the sonar feed, and I have no idea what I'm talking about, and neither do they.